six. Are you available? Copy. 240 negative? Sorry. False alarm on that code red near Magnolia. Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. 1452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need backup. Copy that. All backup available. Jenny, it's gonna be alright. On the ground. Okay, update time. You heard back from Jen yet? Um, no. I'm sure she'll reply at some point. Let me take a look at the situation. Hey, Jen, you going to the party tonight? Dude, we talked about this. Could you have any less game? <sighs> I'm no good at this. Ooh, how about... Yo, Jen, see you at the party. Let me know if I should bring handcuffs. <laughs> oh my god, you thirsty bitch. Here, let Lila the Love Witch work her magic. Okay, just don't make me sound like a loser. I said matchmaker, not miracle worker. Hey, hold on. Let me check it before you send. Too late. Would be awesome to see you there. What? I could have texted that. It's a good start. She'll text back, you'll see. You know, I don't even know if I want to go tonight. Oh, please. It's gonna be fun. You hate every party. Oh, uh, because they're all the same. Too many people, too fucking loud, everybody's wasted. Yes, Sean, you just described a party. Well, the suspense is killing me. It's Dad. He wants to know if I'm coming home after school. <sighs> Jeez, I'm not a ten-year-old. He just cares about you, Sean. Anyway, you should be happy your dad's looking out for you. Oh, it's Jen. Saying she can't wait to see us at the party! What? Really? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Told you I would work my matchmaker magic! Hmm. So... So what should I work tonight? A condom. Oh, ha ha. Paying plenty of attention in sex ed class, I see. Hey, lovebirds. Back from the loony bin? Shut the fuck up, dickhead. Damn, your neighbor's an asshole. Yep. Always true to himself.
Man, we need to find a couch for your yard one day. <sighs> Ooh, careful. Last time my dad almost busted me out here. Because you were alone? Your dad wouldn't bust me. He loves me. So, you want to hit or not? Hmm. Nah. Maybe at the party. Track stars aren't supposed to smoke, you know? Yeah, sure. I'll remember this when you're begging for a spliff tonight. Speaking of weed, I got that covered tonight. What else do we need? Eric said his parents don't leave shit at the cabin, so we better make an official party list. Hey, whoa! What the hell are you don't doing? Don't move! You're my human post-it note. First, we need money for supplies, munchies, chips and dip, soda, etc. Uh, this better wash off. And of course, we must not forget the booze. I can probably snag a six-pack from Dad if he's got enough. Hey, did you ever think of maybe just sending a text instead? Hmm. Oh, right. Blankets. It's gonna get so chilly tonight. You and Jen are gonna need something to snuggle under. Oh, one last thing. C-O-N-D-O... -O. Oh, stop. You're out of room, punk. Whoa, good drawing, Lila. Daniel's teacher would be proud of you. Ha! The pretentious artist has spoken. Don't fall asleep before me tonight, or you might see more of my skills. <laughs> you wish. Ah, these fucking planes, man. I want to hate them, but I'll miss them so much if I move somewhere else. Shit changes so fast. I get so emo sometimes, wondering what will happen to us once we graduate. Will you still be my BFF? Will shit ever get better than 1452 Lame Avenue? <sighs> Mas posible, sister. With all that shit going on, dirty Mexican like me hanging out with an Asian chick? Huh. I mean, that's a one-way ticket to jail. Oh, I'm not worried. You'll be pacing your ass off behind that wall way before me. <laughs> Shit, you're right. I need to get cooler than you. So my 10,000 followers keep me out of trouble. I mean, no way you can, but I love you anyway. Okay, it's getting way late and I gotta pick out my outfit for tonight. Skype me later when you're ready. Hugs. Talk to you soon. Hello, Friday night. <laughs> hey, perfect timing. Just the sun I wanted to see. Oh, sure. But I'm a little busy. Did you see Lila? She said we can go to the movies next week. She said... Dude, bug her, not me. You're not exactly her type. You're lucky she puts up with you. Ugh, jeez. Thanks, Pop. I feel really supported right now. You're welcome. And now we need an objective judge. That would be you. <gasps> really? Hey! No shh, fair! Shh, shh. Court is in session. Judge Diaz presiding over the case of the last Choco Crisp. I... I have to go, uh... Get ready for a party and stuff. So... Well, if you want to attend to a party and stuff, you have to earn it, Your Honor. Oh, shit. Hey, he swore. Yes, I heard Tattletale. Mm. Please, Judge Diaz, be an example to the court and society. Then you can go hook up or chill or whatever. Now, who deserves to eat this final choco crisp? Your adorable little brother who eats about 10 bags a week. Or your poor, suffering father who slaves over a hot engine to provide his family with a home and a garage. Me, me, me. Come on, Judge. Shh, 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 shh. Let him decide. Judge, 
The verdict, please. Daniel is innocent. And so the jury gives him the Choco Crisp. Oh yeah, I win. <laughs> okay, back to work. I hear an engine calling my name. And you better play nice together, like you always do. Hey, hey, I have to go to work in my room too. <laughs> yeah? Don't hurry back. Okay, let's get this party list started. <laughs> Daniel kept saying, I'm freezing, but we couldn't get him off the skis. This will work. I don't want to get wasted in front of Jen. Cross that off the list. Drinks down, food to go. You're coming with me. Will Dad actually take us there one day? <laughs> Doubt it. Hey, Jen. What's up? Oh, try again, loser. Hey, you look totally hot. Oh my god, stop. Ugh. Hey, you wanna share my blanket? Hey, Jen. Do you wanna hang out sometime? Not bad. Remember, don't be too thirsty. All right, Dad. Where do you put the blankets? Dad should just sell that other bike. Thank God I don't have to take one of Daniel's. I'm sure Dad won't miss one blanket for the night. I can't believe Dad actually asked me to tag up this wall. Well, of course. He asked Daniel, too. That you, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too excited, kid. You're making me nervous. Hey. Since you're creeping around up there, can you pass me the wrench in the top red drawer over there? Sure. Can do. Um, there's no wrench here. Ah, shoot. Must be somewhere else then. Take a look around. I know I left it nearby. It's a 16 millimeter reversible flex wrench. <sighs> Jeez. That was definitely my plan for tonight. So, yeah. Hold on. Sam came by the garage today. Told me to tell you hi, friend. How's this leg? Well, you know, old fossils like us don't heal the way you do. Ugh. Remind me never to get old. Hey, it beats the alternative. Is that it? Hey, yes! That's the one. That was quick. So you did learn something from your old man after all. Yeah, yeah. All right, just let me tighten this. So, finally decided to come and join your old man under the hood, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, sure. 
I know it's not your thing, but you got to learn a trade. Art, athletics, engineering, I don't care, as long as you put your heart into it. I'm trying. I just don't know what direction to go. You're only 16 years old. You've got time to figure it out. Trust me, it took me a while, too. And... you happy with it? I mean, your job? Living here? Of course I am. We're doing great. Maybe one day when I retire, I'll go back to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. But until then... Ugh, I've heard this one before. Hmm. I don't even know why I'm fixing you a sweet car for graduation. Ugh, oh, come on. It's wicked. I'm just not used to driving. You better get used to it, or you'll be taking your date to prom on the number 30 bus. Like I'm going on tons of dates. Not when Daniel's cock-blocking me the whole time. He's nine. He doesn't even know what cock-blocking is. He looks up to you, Sean. Try and help him. It's what family is for. Things are kind of scary out there in this country right now. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way... Ha! I was wondering how long it'd take. You need money for the party tonight, right? Ah, 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 shh. Just be honest with me. No bullshit. Are you using this money to buy alcohol? Weed? Um, I mean... Yeah, probably. But we'll be partying at a house and nobody's driving home. I swear. Well, everybody's got to get home somehow. But yeah, you and Lila better not get in any car with somebody who can't walk through. Holy shit, 40 bucks? Really? Yeah, why not? You did a good job on the lawn. Plus, I appreciate that you didn't lie to me. Thanks, Dad. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking for, okay? I know what kind of crazy shit kids can get into. When you were my age, did you party a lot? <laughs> Sorry. What happens in Mexico stays in Mexico. Now get out of here before I change my mind about that cash. And keep an eye on Daniel while you're home, would you? All right. Thanks, Dad. Hey, hey, hey. Not so fast, Shawnee boy. Don't you think your papito deserves a hug? Ugh. Okay, have fun, but not too much. I won't. Promise. Bye. Love ya. I love you too, hijo. I bet Dad had a pretty wild teenagehood, even though he won't tell. Looks like I got everything. Better pack it all up. I would be fucked if I had to help Dad in the shop. Dad is actually kind of a secret geek. Maybe a nerd. Open up. Why? <laughs> because. Okay, okay. <sighs> what are you doing in there, Dr. Frankenstein? Thanks for giving me the chill out crisp. <laughs> That's what big brothers are for. Sometimes. What's with the scissors? Can't tell you. It's a big secret. So don't come in. Oh, man. Damn, sounds pretty serious. Should I call an ambulance now before it's too late? Maybe. <laughs> All I can say is, watch out for my costume in three days. This Halloween is gonna be awesome. Are you going to the party tonight at Eric's house? Will Lila be there? Yes, 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 and no. You can't go. Teenagers only. I bet Lila would let me go. She's way nicer to me than you. 
Did she ask about me? Yes, she wants to marry you. Shut up! And I don't even care if I can't go. Because... Because I have secret stuff to do. Alone. Of course you do. Daniel's always up to something. Wonder what's next. Finally ready to go. Time to Skype Lila on my laptop. That would be sick to just go tag the world. Tat would cut my arm off if I got a tat like that. But when I turn 18... Lila will survive if I take five to practice my drawing. I should take a good look at the subject before drawing. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. The lighting is nice. It's been a while since I've sketched my room. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Time to take the pen, dude. I hate perspective. My room almost looks cool on this. Not an easy task. <laughs> good job. This was such a cool day. Can't wait to go back out there with the crew. Oh, lower boy. Just give me a minute. Gee, where did I put the... Mm, hold on. <sighs> okay, hi. Did you get everything on your hand list? It's all in my backpack, yeah. Dad hooked me up with some cash, so... We're set for the night. In case we need anything else. Or if you and Jen need anything else... Ooh la la. <sighs> okay, serious talk. What are you gonna say to Jen tonight? Well, I don't know. Play it cool, talk about the gig last week, get to know her tastes. Oh, oh my god, you did rehearse your moves for tonight. You're totally into her. So what? I don't have any game. These are uncharted territories for me. You're super cute. Just be yourself. That's why she's Sean, into you. Sean, I'm done, look. I made zombie blood. It's, um... Corn syrup and food coloring. Hey. Hi, <sighs> Lila. Get out of my room, Daniel. I was just... Come on, man. Just uh, Just bugging the uh, shit out of what? me again after I told you to knock? Uh, yeah, what? I know. <sighs> anyway. Sean, you're an asshole. What's your problem? <sighs> but... I want to see zombie blood if you don't. <sighs> sorry, sorry. I'll make it up to him. He knows I can be a dick. I'm just stressed out about tonight. No, oh, please. We're gonna have so much fun. Maybe tonight's the night... Don't jinx me. Jinx? I'm your lucky charm, bitch. <laughs> okay. So when are you coming over? I just have to hit up the momster for the car keys and hope she doesn't make me lie too much about the party. I'm already in trouble from last time. This time... Don't get caught. Let me see that drawing. This might be my masterpiece. Well, yeah. 
It's my portrait. Oh shit. Jen just posted her outfit for tonight. What? On her wall. You should check it up. It might get your attention. Hey, are you listening to me? Um, you know something called multitasking? <laughs> That's a girl thing, no? Don't touch it! It's for Halloween! Whoa! Her hair. Whoa, indeed. I told you she was super into you, man. What's her profile picture got to do with me? It will huh, out. you will Let's see. see. No reaction, no like, no nothing? Hey, uh, I don't appear like a stalker or something. <laughs> okay, okay. Touche. Leave me alone! I'll call my dad! Hold on, okay? Something's going on outside. <laughs> What do you mean? Hey! Look at my shirt, asshole! What's the big deal? It's Halloween! Uh, hey! Uh, Don't ever touch my brother! You hear me, Brett? Fuck you, Diaz! He got his fake blood shit all over my shirt! Look! I told you, it was an accident! You better leave us alone! Oh yeah, go hide in your dad's garage! Pussies! You think you own the block? Dude, step back. He didn't mean it. He's a fucking kid. He's a fucking retard. What? What did you just say? You heard me, bitch. Don't ever touch him again. Or what? You gonna get your daddy? Hey, asshole. I don't need him to protect me from you. Oh, you, you wanna go? Oh, yeah, <laughs> motherfucker? Then go back to your own country. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Sean, you hit him! <sighs> Get inside, now! Sean! You're dead meat, bitch! <sighs> you and your whole fucking family are going to jail, losers! What? What's going Fuck on? me! Daniel, get over here! Sean! Is he hurt? Okay! Okay, step away! Now! Calm down, officer! Shut up! And step back! On the ground! Now! Hey, wait! This guy was he started beating me. up my little brother! Now! Hands behind your Sean. head! Sean! This is fucking bullshit! Oh, no. Sean, what's Get happening? On the ground! Dad! Sean. We didn't do Sean, anything! Sean, be quiet! I swear! Officer, Sean. Sean. Listen. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad! Daddy! Be quiet! We wanna go home! They're good kids, Officer. Don't move! I'm sure they didn't do I anything! I don't! Move! Stop we this. didn't Daniel, do anything! It's gonna be alright! On the ground!
No, man. We can't stop here. We gotta keep going. No pouting, okay? Come on. But... But... My feet really hurt. These shoes suck. And we've been walking for four days. What? Only two. Don't even try that shit. And my back hurts from sleeping under that stupid bridge. Yeah, so does mine. I was there too. Just knock it off. I hate it when you act like this. This is how people camp in the woods. It's not like being... being at home or... or in your room. This is a... a real adventure. Right? So... come on. Let's hit the trail. Seriously. Where's Dad? Daniel... come on. We gotta go. Why isn't Dad with us, Sean? Doesn't he want to go camping too? Yes, but I told you that... He can't. I told you. Okay? Okay. But I am so sick of walking. I just wish I was back in my room. I know. I know. Hey. At least we don't have to go to school on Monday, right? Yeah. Look, um, everybody's gonna be so stoked when they find out how far you walked. Really? Really? I bet Dad would be too. Do you think we walked, like, maybe a hundred miles? Probably two hundred. Feels like it. Ooh, awesome possum. But next time, Dad better give me a good pair of shoes, like yours. Dude, a Bigfoot doesn't need good shoes. I'd rather be a wolf. Ow! We could be wolves. Yeah. Yeah, that, that works. Just work on that how. Hey, you know what? Let's see if you can walk the whole way without complaining once. Huh? Uh, like, you don't whine too? I don't whine. I... I... Tag your ass and run! You're it! No way! Not fair! Whatever. Okay. I'm a zombie, and I'm gonna eat you! Blah!
there yet? Dude, stop. You know what? You're not allowed to say that. Ever again. Yes, sir. You'll be the first one to know when we get there, okay? I'm tired and hungry, too. Listen, this looks like a perfect place to camp at. I bet we're not the first people to stay the night. It's creepy. There's nobody out here. We didn't even see any cars. We're gonna camp here. I'll look out for you. Oh, look! Man, it's so dirty. Hmm, I see something. What do you find? Check it out! There's a chunky chocolate crisp bar! On the dashboard! Yeah, I see it. You know I love chocolate crisp bars. I haven't had one in a million years. Yeah, right. More like two days ago. Come on. Can we please, please, please get one when we stop next, please? I promise. Yeah! And you can wash it down with a frosty root beer later, okay? But I'm starving. Just... don't eat me! <laughs> we haven't seen any cars in a long time. Maybe we're the last people on Earth. Come on. We're just hiking in the forest. It's good to get away from shit. Sean, look. Gross. Road kill. Come on, Daniel. Don't look at it. <sighs> it's not fair. No. No, it's not, Daniel. Daniel! Check out this mark on the tree. What is that? Graffiti? Not exactly. It's called a trailblaze, and people used to put them up to give directions. Like GPS? <laughs> yeah, sure. Just slightly more ancient. Awesome! Let's follow it. If only Dad was here. Come on, Daniel. The sun is going down. <sighs> okay, dude. Do you have to use the bathroom? No. It smells real bad. No shit. Seriously? You better go now. I don't have to go. Jeez. Can I just pee on a tree? As long as you don't mind the poison ivy on your balls. Uh, well, maybe I'll go. But don't let me get stuck in there. Don't worry. I'll call the forest plumbers if you fall in. Especially after you use it. Sean? Look how big these trees are. Eh, that's only because they need the sun. Besides, they'll protect us from the rain. What if they don't? What if they... Uh, attack us? Hey, you've watched Lord of the Rings with Dad like a hundred times. Here's a chance to go on a real adventure. With... me. Hmm. So I'm like... Frodo? And you're... Sam? Uh... <laughs> well... I was thinking more like... Aragorn. You know... Brave, strong, good-looking. <laughs> no 
way, Jose. You're Sam. Sam. And we have to find a secret cave so we can hide from the orcs. <sighs> okay, okay. Sam I am. After you, Master Daniel. Dad always knew exactly where to go. He was a living compass. Whoa. That place is huge. Yeah, it's kind of cool. What does that mean? I can't tell him the truth. Where are we going? Huh. The river must be a bit further. Let's take a look around. Hey, Sean, I found berries. Can I taste one, please? Hold on, I'm coming. <sighs> They're okay. Go ahead. I'll leave that to the zombies. Picnic and hiking site. Well, I bet nobody comes out here to picnic anymore. Well, that's good for us. No camping? Uh-oh. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna find us out here. Do not feed or disturb the animals? What? What kind of animals? Like bears? Or coyotes? Or... More like... squirrels... Rabbits, critters, just don't bug them and they won't bug us. They're way more scared of us than we are of them. Unless they're angry or hungry. Okay, come on. Don't freak yourself out. Let's go. I found some more. Can I taste one, please? Hold on, I'm coming. Hey man, do not eat those. Seriously. Okay, okay. I'm so tired. Feels like we're walking nowhere. How am I supposed to take care of us out here? I don't even know what happened back there. To that cop. Or Danny. How can that be? Whoa. Look at that. Yeah. So cool. Never seen you get so jacked up over a nice view before. So? I've never seen anything like this. Never, ever! Yeah. I guess you haven't. I remember when... Dad... I wish Dad was here with us. Well, thanks. Not cooling off anymore? Yes, you're super cool. But... I just wish the family was together, at home. It'll be cool to watch a movie and get a pizza and eat ice Dude, cream. Dude, stop. 
I told you we have to keep going. We'll see that later. And right now, it's just you and me. Okay? Yeah. It's our park. We can do whatever we want. That's right. So, we better go build a, a secret base so we can hide out for the night. Are you ready? Frodo is always ready for adventure, Sean Wise. Okay, let's go. You can't find me. Oh, yeah? I'll give you ten seconds to find a hiding spot, and then you're toast. Turn around so I can hide. And don't look. One, two... Come on! You're cheating! No peeking. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm coming. Okay. Where are you? Now, where could Daniel be? <laughs> Knowing Daniel, he shouldn't be hard to find. Yeah, this is way too far. Daniel's hiding back there. Ooh, I see you, Daniel. But you don't see me. Yeah, we're in a giant forest. The best hiding spot. I don't know how I still remember these. That was a pretty good hiding spot. I bet nobody knows what they mean anymore. Say. It tells us to go straight. Oh, yeah. I did it. It's a tree map. Daniel, come check this out. What? What? Be quiet. He'll take off. Ooh, raccoon. He's so cute. <laughs> that raccoon will tear us apart. Let's go, bro. Starving. Raccoons are way smarter than us. He'll find more food. What if this raccoon is related to the... to the one on the road? Hey, don't think about stuff like that. Maybe they were brothers. 
Like us. Makes me sad. Stop. They're just raccoons. Hey, there's another one here. That showed me how to read these when I was eight. leads to the river. Daniel! Just a sec. Oh, fuck. I have no idea where we are. I'm doing. Oh man, I'm so hungry for choco trips now. I hope there'll be plenty at the next door. Okay, now it's your turn. Hop on down. I'll catch you. How come nobody is out here? Huh? It's October. People don't hike as much. So why are we? Because we can. We're badass warriors, dude. Cool. Daniel, you hear that? Is that a bird's nest? Oh, yeah. They're everywhere out here. At least they have a home. Come on. We're too big for a nest. like a clicker. Creepy. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. I hope the animals out here aren't hungry. like a cave. Kind of, kind of spooky. No. Actually, it's kind of perfect. For what? For us, man. We're gonna stay in there? I don't know. Uh, come on, Daniel. Look, this could be our secret base. We could stop any orts from capturing us in here. Cool. In that case, we definitely need to get a fire going first, right? Right! Yes! Uh, so what do we need? I need you to build a fort to keep out orcs, trolls, uh, everything. And I'll take care of finding the wood. Deal? 
Yes! I can build traps, too. Nothing will get to us. Awesome, dude. I know. <sighs> okay. Let's unpack. Finally. Coming! Let's see. Here's a good spot. Now this is perfect. One step here and wham. Nice and dry. Hmm. That's enough for a toasty fire. We've been walking for so long. I wonder how far we are from Seattle. Hey, this isn't too bad. I guess Daniel can chill a little. Hey, can you give me a hand? Yeah. This is the best way to protect the base. Yo, what are you doing? I'm trying to move this branch to protect the base. Good call. Here, let me take this side. You got it? We'll see. Go ahead and push. <sighs> we did it. Nothing can get in here now. Damn right. Nice work, Daniel. Cool. I'll go check the river. Nineteen eighty six? Damn, that's ancient. Hope they had a better time than us. What are you doing, mountain boy? I'm gonna catch a fish to cook. Nice. But we should wait until we get some gear or something. I can do it. Just watch. I know. We'll come back later. Okay. You promise? Promise. Feels good to focus on something after all that shit. Ooh, we can yell as much as we want. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Dad gave me the sketchbook. 
He was so fucking awesome. Shoot, he... Oh. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Time to take the pen, dude. Okay. Got it. Like that. This almost looks like a peaceful memory. Almost. I don't get it. I won't skip. Watch me. Dude, come on. That's a boulder, not a rock. Here, you need a flat rock. Hold it like this. Look at my hand. Boom. Okay, I get it. My turn. Hold it with your thumb and finger, and spin your wrist when you throw. Not bad. Give it another try. Uh, so close. Try again. You've almost got it. to the zone. Don't give up now. I did it! I did it! Did you see? <laughs> oh yeah! That was awesome! I think you're ready for the Olympic stone skipping team. He thinks we're just going on a trip. I can't imagine when he'll find out what really happened. We could build a really cool fort here, I bet. I'm digging the spot. Oh, you want to challenge me? Behold my sword! Uh... Who are you? Who are we fighting? Orts and Goblins trapped us down! Watch out! They can't beat our fellowship. Yeah, they're down! None shall pass! We are awesome. Damn right. Thanks for having my back. Now that is a big web. <laughs> You're safe, little bro. Spiders hibernate in the fall. Good. I remember when you pushed me into that web. Hey, that was a long time ago. You got me back, right? Yeah, well, you screamed when you saw that plastic spider. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, ha ha. <laughs> At least they won't bug us tonight. <laughs> Get it? Uh, no. No way they're putting us in foster care. Sean? Whoa. Nice view. You can see so far. Wait, I'm coming.
it's beautiful. Pretty amazing, huh? See? It's not so bad here in the forest. Hey, look at those clouds. What do they look like to you? I don't know. Cotton candy? <laughs> That's it? Cotton candy? I don't know. What do you see? A dragon. What? Where? Okay. There's the tail. And the horns and the fangs, and the smoke coming out of its mouth. Oh, I see it. It's awesome. Wouldn't it be cool if we had a pet dragon? Ooh, I see something else. There's a giant douchebag. Oh, yeah? Where? <laughs> right here. <laughs> right here, huh? <sighs> ah. Come on. Let's go eat something. All right, Inano. We're cave people now. Time to make fire. We make fire. Can I help? You have a big mouth like me, so come on. Blow. Yes! Dude, don't blow it out. Sorry. Sorry. I wanted to do it like a movie. Oh, nice. It's warming up. I wish we had more. I know. Me too. I wish we had a cheeseburger and a milkshake like yesterday. Oh, dude. That shake was so good. Can't believe we found a diner on the way out here. <laughs> I want another one. I know. We'll get you one. Promise. Man, I made a fire tonight. Dad would be proud. I could really use a smoke. Man, this is the coolest secret base ever. Nobody's gonna find us. Look, a full moon. It's not quite full yet, wolf boy. Do you think there are werewolves for real? Dude, we are the wolves. Ow! See? Ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow!
Good I took those and not the beers. Daniel needed this sugar rush. Oh, that's my quote of cookies for the year. You okay, buddy? Yeah. Feels good to sit down. Sean? Are you mad at me for what happened with Brett? I don't remember everything. It's not your fault. Shit happens. Brett deserved it. Why can't I remember? It's weird. Um... Uh, don't worry, dude. You were running around all day. You tired out. It happens. Uh, I'm so tired. Uh, you look tired. Ready to crash? I've been ready all day. My feet hurt. I think we earned some serious rest. I could sleep forever. Not on this ground. Ugh. Better than freezing out there, right? Way better. Now we have a real fire. And a secure base. You did awesome today, Daniel. Really? Hell yeah. Without you, there's no fellowship. Um, that's cool. My eyes won't stay open, Sean. Sleep tight, bro. Hey, bro, wake up. Sean? Sean? What happened? Where's Dad? It's okay. You, you just had a bad dream. That's all. Sean? Where... Where are we? Right here, in the park. Remember our amazing fire? You fortified our base, so we're perfect. Um, I did. You're right. Go, go back to sleep. You need your rest. But I might have another scary dream. You won't. I'm here. Just, just close your eyes. Thanks, Sean. I'm glad you're here. Good night, Daniel. Look, it's easier now. We're going downhill. We just gotta keep walking. Uh, yeah, that's better. Hey, maybe we'll find a milkshake shop. Ah, oh, yes. A four secret milkshake factory. <laughs> keep dreaming, dude. 
Let's walk a little more. There will be a rest stop or something where we can buy food. I'm sure of it. Oh, remember that time? Harry Thompson wanted to beat me up. Me and Noah traded some games with Harry, but he didn't like his, so he said he was gonna get us after school. What did you do? We waited in the gym until he went home. That's it? You should have told me. I tried, but you said to get out of your room. I'm sorry, Nano. I should have listened. You did stand up for me, with Brett, for a change. Yeah, well, he had it coming. Yeah, I kind of wish you weren't so mean all the time. I'm sorry, Daniel. I'm trying. Okay. Hey, there's something ahead. Yep. Must be the gas station we saw on that sign. Awesome. I'm so hungry for real food right now. I hear you. We're gonna get food, water, and plus a map so we can find the best route. All right. Hey, come on. I know last night was tough, but tonight will be better. I swear. Yeah. I hope. Utah? You're a long way from home, dude. How can someone drive with this mess? If Daniel asks me if he can keep one of those birds for a pet, so help me. It's cool we found this place. Sean, you sure it's okay to poke around? Can't believe how lost we are. Okay. Be gentle. Fly. Be free. Not bad, Sean. Not even sure what kind of bird you are, but I'll keep this. Do they make actual money doing this? <laughs> kind of creepy, huh? Nah, I think they're cute. We should have one at home. Dad would love it. No way we're carrying a freaking log around, dude. <sighs> okay. Right. No thanks. I already have one. Oh, shit, they're still looking for us. We can't go back. Can't let Daniel know. Not right now. Hey! Come on in. Let's wash a little. Ugh, I'm coming. Stop watching me, perv. He looks... he looks like one of your drawings. Ah, cold! I know. So wash fast. Ugh, my hands are ice cubes. Okay, you're done. Free water class. Oh, shit. My face. You look older, dude. 
Are we good to go, or do you need to... Ma, it's okay. I went in the woods just before we got here. Cool. We stopped at so many on our road trips. He says they're all kind of the same. They feel familiar. Almost like home. Same bad coffee. Same nasty toilets. Same food. But I don't feel at home at all. Sorry, just daydreaming. Okay. Let's go. Hello there. Whoa! Hey. Sean! They have Shoto Crisp. You promised I'd get one. See the baby bear, Daniel? Oh, that is awesome, possum. I mean, bear. So cool. Then he's all yours. We have a surplus, as you can tell. Really? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, man. That is so Go cool. on. It's actually free. Cool. Thanks. It's a real nice map. You'll find lots of great hiking trails around here. Can't go wrong with these. At least it's got a lot of sugar. Keep our energy up. We can't make a fancy sandwich. The bread will be just fine. Weird to be in here after the... Danny will scarf this down. It's expensive, but I can't let Daniel freeze. Can't believe how lost we are. Thank God we found this place. <laughs> Of course they did. Why the fuck not? Hi, what are you looking at? Oh, hey there. Well, I'm actually doing research. It's, uh, but not for you. Why? Like dirty stuff? Yuck. It's, uh, adult stuff. I'm nine years old. I know these kind of things. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. What's your name? Daniel. Hi, Daniel. I'm Brody. Why are you looking at adult stuff? For work. Ooh. Okay, must be a nice job. Kinda, yeah. Well, see you. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this creep looking at? Uh, no. I don't mean... I mean... It's not as weird as it seems, though. These people, they only want to live a normal life. Just naked. I mean, if they're not harming anyone, who's to say they're wrong? Nobody. Yeah, I agree. Yes, why should we all be the same? Who says so? <laughs> Never mind. I'm getting carried away. Name's Brody. I'm kind of an online traveling journalist. Sean. What's a online traveling journalist? Just a fancy name for someone who drives around in a car, writing about people and stuff. There's a few websites that pay me for these papers since I know how to write. Nice to meet you, man. You traveling with your brother? 
Yeah, we're on the road, going south. Good for you. The best way to learn is on the road. The earlier, the better. Well, I'd love to talk and avoid work all day, but I'm already up against the deadline. Safe travels, dudes. Thanks, man. See you around. Ooh, Sean. Check it out. It's a raccoon costume. Wow. Did something oh interesting God. happen here? Oh, that's my husband up there. He built this place 30 years ago. Yep. Who's the guy with him? Okay. Is that See supposed to be later, someone Scott. famous? Yep. That's a famous Maybe Hollywood Dad director or something. Christmas. He made a show up here, but we don't watch TV. Nice man. Don't think he liked our coffee. I'm Daniel. Nice to meet you, Daniel. I'm Doris. So what exactly are you doing all the way out here? It's a secret adventure. Is that so? Sounds intriguing. Did you make all these bears? Oh, no. I won't take any credit for the see. bears. That's yes, all on my husband. Willing to adapt he won't stop to making them. Oh, no matter yeah. how much I beg. Oh, I think they're so cute. Well, good for you. Sure glad somebody does. <sighs> it's going to be freezing tonight. So we need to stock up. Hey. Hi. Good evening. Well, what brings you all the way out here? Oh, we're on a, a road trip. So where are your parents? Uh-oh. We're with our friends. Pretty fun. By yourselves? All the way out here? Oh, it's no big deal. Um, just a short field trip. We're not that far from home. Well, didn't mean to grill you. Just making sure you're okay out here. Have a nice day. Um, what's that? Looks like you're all set to go. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Okie dokie. Let's ring you up. And there's the damage. I think that's it. Okie dokie. Hmm. You're a little short there. Really? Oh, please. You can pay me back next time. It ain't much. You boys look like you could use a break. This one's on me. That's so cool. Thanks. Thank you. You can thank me by not telling the old man and taking all these bears with you. Daniel, come check this out. It's a puppy. Super cute. <laughs> yeah, super cute. Is this yours? Somebody left her down the road. If I saw who did that, it'd be the last time. Aww, he must be sad. What's his name? Her. Whoever takes her gets to name her. Oh, right. Oh. Can we have the puppy? Please? Sorry, man. No way we're taking a dog with us. Oh, honey. We have to have an adult take care of her. See? Sorry about that. Now let's go. But... Who sends postcards? Boring. Let's... Hey, look! Empty table! Uh, let's grab it and check out this map. It's our table now! <laughs> yep. Let's see. What do we got here? This is a ton of food. I thought we were broke. Not today, Jane. So let's grow out. This is our trophy. 
Really? You got me a choco crisp? Of course I did. You deserved it. Where are you guys off to now? Uh, south, I guess. Right on. Pro tip, don't feed the bears. <laughs> See you later. Whoa, that's a big map. <sighs> yeah, hope I can read it. Washington? I don't recognize anything. Yeah, me neither. But we have to be somewhere in there. Hey, I know. We're here. There's a gas station. See? Nah, no way. We were near Mount Rainier yesterday, but it's miles away now. Let me show you where we are, okay? Yeah, okay. We slept at that trout trail thing. Then we walked south for a while. All right. This is it. Are you sure? <gasps> yes, it is. It's next to the river we camped by yesterday. Here we are. Okay, so... Can we go there tonight? Are you kidding? It's way too far. You want to walk a whole week again? Aww. But it looks cool. Hold on. I'll find where we can go. Hey, kids. Looks like you're out camping. Oh, yeah. Just going over trails and stuff. Seems dangerous to be out here all alone. But maybe you're the ones who need to be watched. Huh? What do you mean? We sure just... hope you pay for all that. We don't tolerate shoplifters. Uh... Sir, we paid for this. And the map was free. Well, let's go inside. You can show us what you bought. Uh, no, thanks. We have to go. Nope. You're going inside. Don't make this worse for yourself, kid. Or I will. Uh, excuse us, sir. We were just hiking, I swear. Then let's find out if you're telling the truth. Come on. Uh, but we have to get going. Sean? Uh, it's okay. Look, our... Our dad is waiting for us. Okay. You can call him from our phone. Now let's go. Don't touch me! Don't do it, boy! Let go! Uh, don't touch my brother! Hi. Officer Buell? Tank. Hank Stamper. Listen, I caught myself a couple of fugitives you might be interested in. Oh, they ain't going anywhere. Don't you worry. Okay, fine. Thank you. What the fuck? Where am I? Oh, shit. Daniel. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. Police will get those two straightened out. Are you sure about this, eh? I don't know. And they'll be off our property and won't be our problem no more. If you say so, then. Well, I'll let you deal with it. Oh, hey there. You finally awake? Sorry I had to secure you. But if you're innocent, don't act guilty. How's your stomach? It hurts. I didn't pop you that hard. You're all right. I, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Just let me use the bathroom. Nice try. But I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. I saw it in the paper. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. 
Don't worry. If you touch him... You think I'd hurt a little boy? Guess you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out in the middle of nowhere, though. That's real safe for a little kid. If he's lucky, he won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go. Please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. Plastic. I don't know. You're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. There's a window over there. Maybe you can find a way in or something. It is, but be careful, it might attract him. Hey, you think you can open the back door? Open this vent. Yes. Ouch. It hurts. Sorry, Sean. Don't move. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. Sean? What's going on? I'm trying to get the hell out of here. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. I, I think I saw a big file thing in the workshop with all those bear sculptures. I know you can find it. Okay, I'll try. Come on, Sean. We gotta hurry Sean, before the police gets Sean here. Found something. Is this what you wanted? This is it. You rule, Daniel. Come on. Let's do this. Yes. 
good job, bro. hit you? Did he? No, he tried to grab me, but I got away. Okay, we need to cut this off fast. How about these? Dude, you rock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. Okay, now we gotta get my stuff and go. What happened? What? What did you do? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's okay. You're safe now. having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Did he mess with you too? He started too earlier, but I bought too much stuff just to piss him off. Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't Seattle no more. Yeah. My dad said there are more Bigfoots out here than Mexicans. No doubt. People out here are more scared of you and your little brother. This is nuts. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> What's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid.
Daniel. What? We <laughs> saved her. We're heroes. Yeah. Guess we are. <laughs> so, what should her name be? Hey, your dog. Your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about uh, mushroom? She totally looks like a mushroom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name, though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. So do I. <laughs> All right. Mushroom it is, then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, Mushroom? You got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money, but no soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protest, try to make some positive change. Whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. Are you, like, famous or something? <laughs> More like, or something. People in my network know who I am and vice versa. Well, that's enough for me. <laughs> Sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> I kind of wish I was famous, too. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah. And feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. Look at that. 
Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was all my fault. Daniel wanted to play Thaw me and... Of course I told him to get lost and... Our asshole neighbor was picking on him and I freaked out. So Dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and... They killed my dad in front of me. It's all my fucking fault. All I had to do was play with Daniel, and Dad would still be alive. I fucked up my whole family, and now we're alone. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. Listen, it's not your fault. You don't have control over all this stuff. You can't blame yourself for everything that happens in this world. You're gonna be okay, Sean. How? My life feels like... like that town down there. Wiped out. Destroyed. Empty. Like I have nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but... What you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it. Go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long-haul traveler. Maybe this is crazy, but... Should we just keep going? Till we get to Mexico? If you think that's the right thing to do, yes. This is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No, no way. She's... out of the picture. But Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the ship long enough. Time to hit the road. I'll drop you by a motel. 
in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. <laughs> okay, Mushroom, you can chase me. Then, Sean. <laughs> um, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> Too bad sandcastles never last. Glad to see him act like a kid again. How will I tell him? Hey! Let's play fetch with the pup! Really? Yes! Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay. But I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Come on, Mushroom! Get it! Go, Mushroom! <laughs> Good doggy. I think we need a Frisbee. she wants me to throw the stick. Let me try one more time. But I want to do it too. <sighs> Look! In front of you! Whoa, she's fast. Come on, Mushroom! Bring the sticky! Whoa! What did you find? You just killed a shark! <laughs> you deadly mushroom. She's awesome! Sean! It's my turn now! Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. <laughs> you go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch! Get that stick! Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay, but you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Okay. You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Bloody. to... You're not leaving? Are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here. Looks like it's yours now. 
As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Okay. Good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. Netflix or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If you're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. Sean, I hear something. Like a fight. Um... It's not a fight. Uh, yeah. What are they doing? Sounds weird. Uh, uh that's a um, TV show. Sounds stupid. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too! And there's a balcony! Whoa, this is nice. And warm. <sighs> this bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad. But too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, bud. Ready? I am so ready to beat you. Aw, shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Sure, I mean, you're gonna lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. Aw, come on. Not fair. You lost, man. What's not fair? I wanted that bed. Eh, take it. For real? I don't really care. Awesome. They're the same, you know? Yeah, but I like this one better. All right, I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, pig pen. <laughs> I wouldn't be so short, cave boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Oh, cool! Hot Dog Man is on! Thanks for everything, Brody. I'll be extra careful. Oh, 
I remember this episode. Weird, it's on so late. Damn, I could paint this shit. Let's put this in the bathroom for Prince Daniel. Fill her up. Daniel will love this. <sighs> Daniel, you have towels in the bathroom. Don't forget to use yeah, them. Yeah. Dude, you really look like shit. This episode is awesome. You should sit down and watch it with me. Nothing better than drawing to clear my head after this mess. <sighs> okay, got it. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Can't believe I can actually sketch Daniel without yelling at him not to move every two seconds. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Cool, I think I'm ready to draw this. <laughs> Time to take the pen, dude. He's so calm when he watches TV. Good for him. It's nice out here. Wish I cared. Puerto Lobos, Mexico. Can I get us this far? And safe? How can we get there without money? And Daniel still doesn't know what really happened. What am I gonna tell him? Me and Daniel just have to take it one step at a time. So, what's up? The buns want to catch hot dog man and turn him into sausage meat. Oh yeah. The giant meatball attacks in the next episode, right? Yes. And they get to meet the city mayo. <sighs> man, it's been ages. Why don't you watch hot dog man with me anymore? I'm too old, dude. And I've seen it so many times. <laughs> okay, Grandpa Sean. It feels so good to sit down and watch TV. <laughs> True. 
Okay, I'm done here. You're missing the best part. I know. <sighs> you ready? Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. The water's hot. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Oh my god! Whoa! So many bubbles! Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will! Promise! Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. Time to say goodbye to modern life. Lila's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble, too. Start. I was the dodgeball champ of my high school. So duck! Ow! No fair! <laughs> you guys, don't crush the playbots! Hey, let's set it up! Dad, come on! Ow! Okay, my ball now. Watch out! <laughs> Merry Christmas, kids. Daniel, uh, come here. 
We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a Coke. Or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? I just... Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I promise I won't lie to you again. I promise. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. What are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Nothing is wrong with you. You're... different. Okay. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking... maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories, too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. But, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Now the brother 
others who were alone. And they had to find a new home. They started a journey. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up the Wolf Brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the Big Brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hoped Find peace.
Too heavy for you a few days ago. Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. How about that one? I can do it with the small rods, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. <sighs> I'll try. I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. We already tried yesterday. And the day before. It's too far. I can't reach it. Just... One more time. Oh, I'm so close. I can feel it. How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure. Look. That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool? Okay. But you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. <laughs> Aw, that sucked. How about one more? Ready? What I can do, Sean. I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. You've just 
and outside for a while. Here we go. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. I said fucking. Yeah, dude. Watch it. Seriously. Okay. What? What did you find, Shroom? Finding that house was a miracle. But I'm afraid we can't oh, stay on. here much longer. Not again. We gotta leave these poor bunnies alone. Hey, it's been a while since we last saw that rabbit who lives in there. Yeah. I hope it wasn't eaten by a bear, or... worse. <laughs> What's worse than a bear in Nano? I don't know. Wolves? <laughs> don't worry. We're the only wolves around. <laughs> Sean? The family that lived here... What do you think happened to them? They... must have moved out. Maybe hey. to another state. But... they left all their stuff behind? I don't know, man. Maybe they live in Florida and only come here every ten years. Maybe they got tired of these woods. I kinda like it here. It's way cooler than that crappy town where the shelter was. I just... I miss my friends, and my room, sometimes. <laughs> we really nailed it with this two-headed snow ogre. Yeah, they're really badass. And Musher isn't even afraid of them anymore. Right, puppy? Hey, what's that? Looks like a box or something. Yo, Daniel, come here. What's up? Can you fly that box down from the tree? Duh. Watch me. Oh! Almost forgot to check our traps today. Let's check this out. Yeah. What's inside? Let's see. Uh, cardboard caps. Badges. Is that... a power bear? But he's wearing a different costume. Maybe an old design? Awesome! Can we keep it? Sure. That's pretty old school cool. Sorry, guys. We don't take any more guests. Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside and warm him up. I feel like this month has just flied over us. We're so lucky we found that old cabin. Gave us time to rest and process all that happened. Prody was right. We're stronger now. We look out for each other. We're in this together. These woods are so peaceful, so quiet. No plains, no highways, just the river. Continuously flowing. I wish we could stay here longer. 
But Daniel's health is getting worse every day. And the food is running low. Will we need to move? Again? Daniel's not getting any better. He needs medicine and a real house with proper windows and heating. Ooh, cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> Dude, that cough doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? <sighs> Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know... Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh, I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, it's my fault. I shouldn't have let you alone outside. But I didn't help. I didn't do anything. Because... You couldn't. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah before she eats us. Shit, where did I put my lighter? Oh, this 
space scuba is hovering on a dead planet. What sadistic yeah. thing? Danielle doesn't need to see this. Wonder where Brody is now. Oh yeah. No internet. I'm used to ink, so... This will be different. Oh yeah. He definitely cared for us. What a piece of shit. How can I feel bad for him? Time to get warm. I'm flying over the city. No danger in sight. Copy? Nice work, Daniel. All that Minecraft paid off. Taking pictures of alien species. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. Dang, I am starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. He looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him. I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him so much it hurts, Sean. I know, Daniel. It's okay to think about <coughs> it. I do it too. Okay. Mm. Tough choice. Thanks, Sean. How you doing, Mushroom? Better talk to Daniel after dinner. You're the best puppy in the world. I'm just glad we found you. Hey. Wish I had doing? more than tobacco, to be honest. Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. Ravioli or ravioli? Okay, okay. <sighs> Never eating this again. Daniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap. Dude, you'll be moving cars around in no time if you keep improving like that. Mm, you really did so? Well, that'd be a bad idea, but you sure are getting good at this. I wonder if there's anyone else like me. Mm, I think we'd know it by now. to draw this. <sighs> Time to take the pen, dude. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I need to train my visual memory.
Come on, girl. Let's get back in. <sighs> okay. Dinner's ready. Getting sick of ravioli. That was spaghetti a la dies. <laughs> Didn't you taste the famous truffle sauce? Yep. Plus, I love the garlic bread. And ice cream. Yum. Ooh. You want some too, huh, Mushroom? Bon appetit, Mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. Sorry, I'm cool. <sighs> Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. Gotta show him the map. Um... I think I left it with my books. Mm. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh, this map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. <sighs> okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. <sighs> After all I've done for you, Really? Shroom. Okay, mushroom. Thank you. I get it. You're the boss. Hmm. I could do a super cool manga about Daniel. <laughs> Daniel loves his brand new tablet. Time to play dad talk. Sean! There's someone at the door! What the? When did he show up? I don't know. I just saw him now. Mother f Daniel! <laughs> Got you! <laughs> Man, are you out of your mind? Uh, come on. Don't be such a pussy. <sighs> Don't you think your power can be put to a better use? Anyway. Okay. I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. <sighs> Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look, here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and... They'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they... 
don't like me. They're family, right? Plus they owe us for what Karen... for what Mom did. Um... You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and... I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well... Okay. But Mushroom has to agree too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a game of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, loser. Party time. Okay, ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Oh! <laughs> Captain's ready to rule. More pirates. Hi! <sighs> Better than nothing. Oh, I'm a sucky pirate. Here you go, cargo. Ah, not the best score, but I'll do better next time. You'll see. You wish. What? Come on. Sit, please. Sit. This game sucks. Don't give up. I don't wanna get a full ship. Come on. Zero. Come on, my turn. Okay. What the hell? I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Uh, boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? <laughs> you mean we beat Dad? Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. <sighs> Definitely. He was a great pirate. Just like us. Captain Diaz, King of the Seas. Ooh, you see this? Perfect throw. Yeah, yeah. Good job. I need the score now. Pretty please. Oh, that's a nice score. <sighs> I'm so scared. Do you think Grandma and Grandpa will have a console? Uh, I don't think so, dude. Sorry. No biggie. I like playing dice and stuff, too. Whoa. Daniel the big nerd. Getting sick of screens. No way. It's nice for a change. But I still want my playbox. <laughs> yeah. I bet. I hope Noah is keeping our Minecraft fortress alive. For when I come back. I'm sure he is, pal. No way he gave up your super kingdom. Got a ship now. I need a captain. Come on. Mushrooms growing up so fast. Really? I don't see much difference. Well, she's still a tiny dot, but I can tell she's getting older and smarter. You're a smart girl, right? <laughs> 
She's so cute. I love her forever. And I win. Do you know what it means? <sighs> yeah, okay. You want it. Here's my bag. Mmm, let's see. Here, what do you think? <laughs> Is that mushroom? Yes! I know I'm not as good as you, but... Nah, it's... It's really cool, dude. Thanks. So, let's do another one? It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. Gross. You're right. Don't smoke. But... It's our last night, so... We can do anything. All right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude.
Hey, Daniel. How are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like, you're always polite. Come on. Chill out. What did you pack in? What the f- Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. Okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? What the fuck happened here? That's not good. <sighs> Daniel? Down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! Go away! Go! No! No! Mushroom! What? Fuck! I'm so sorry. It just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. I'm right here. It's all right.
here. You should do it. That's it? It's pointless. I can't even bury her. Well... Unless you want to say something. Uh... Goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. So long, Shroom. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? <sighs> yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. Wait. What about his allergies? <sighs> Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. <sighs> okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. We didn't have to go. I like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? <laughs> They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long, my dudes.
We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. Yes, we hear you. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <laughs> Oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Is it, uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Did I make a mistake coming here? Oh, Stephen. No. Feels so awkward to be here. I don't, I, I don't know. It's good to be inside. Finally. I just hope they let us stay the night. Oh, shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. I remember that. I think it used to be in the living room. I know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. It's to us. But 
Let's, let's just ask him what happened. Then we'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. You all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide. Now, if you want us to help you, did you... Hurt that police officer in Seattle? I don't know. I swear I don't. Too much happened and I'm trying to figure it out, but all I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but. Why did you run away if you're innocent? It happened so fast. I saw the cop on the ground and my dad and, and I freaked out. Oh, I know. You poor thing. But that just made things worse for you and your brother. <sighs> You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Then it would end up in foster care. Ah, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? <sighs> Go down to Mexico? To Puerto Lobos? Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are going to stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him, but you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Whoa, really? Uh, uh, aren't you scared? The police already called you. Lordy, yes. But we're also scared for you. That's why you'll have to be careful around here. Beaver Creek is small, and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. 
It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. <laughs> Plus you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well... Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we... check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Wait, does it hurt? Nah, it's kind of itchy though, and exhausting. Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub.
I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. Man. I miss that dirty little dog. So much more than I thought I would. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. That's cool Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. This is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. That's a cool memento of art. Secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Sean! Finally! Sean, are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But, uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. Look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> I know. You can sit down, Sean. Aren't you hungry? Daniel! Mm. Breakfast time! Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa, show me a box star! Steven! Your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine goes down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> ah, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but... Not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. 
But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Tanny will freak. Thank you. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. Five by four? Thirty six? Uh, hold on. Hey, Mr. Pout. What's going on? Why do I have to do homework when I'm not even in school? I know it sucks, but you still have to learn things. Or you'll become dumb. Okay. But these problems are stupid. I know, man. I've been there too. Just do your best. Is it... <sighs> Shoot, I don't know. See you tonight, buddy. Hate this. Claire can draw pretty damn good. Guess it runs in the family. I'm done. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about all this. It's... it's fine, really. We don't have to. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. I'm glad I picked these up. 
Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Daniel, you would have looked the same back then. <laughs> I would never get that haircut. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. Whoa. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. What? Hey, Claire. What's on your mind, Sean? How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. Man, that's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or... <laughs> not really. I'm not much of a player. With all this going on, I... I don't even think about that stuff. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. I hope. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach, but had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think Daniel would be a good influence on him. He's got a great role model, after all. <sighs> Thanks. I'm trying my best. Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time, but we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, he was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Sounds like that. He wasn't one to smooth things over. Trust me, I know the type. But he did raise you boys on his own. Can't argue with that. Yeah. He worked his ass off for us. Wish I realized that sooner. Don't worry, Sean. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time.
So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can... Well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after... Everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I, I really don't know what to think. He needs a doctor. Or something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah, I get it. He needs you. More than anything else. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel. And just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run? <sighs> that won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us. And you have to think about your brother, you know, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. And for you guys, too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. So here it it's coming. good to see you in my lair. <laughs> you, know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? <laughs> Why? No idea. But you're a big boy now. You can take a look around. I won't eat you. Cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Is that you? Mm, yeah, that was taken when I retired. The mayor came to congratulate me himself. That's awesome. Yeah, really great day. Ah, I wish you'd been here. Mm. Oh, uh, you found this. I, uh, I just forgot to, uh... It's okay. It's been a while since I've seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know? I can't approve what she's done, but I, I, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't... Uh, uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. Uh, <clears throat> Man. 
Who did this? Oh, he was our neighbor's son, Chris. Yeah, I, I helped him and his dad build that treehouse. Why are you holding a fire sword? I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, that kid sure has an imagination. <laughs> How come you have a disco ball? Are you like throwing parties and stuff? <laughs> no, this is a, a souvenir, you know? I actually met your grandma during a disco night, believe it or not. Claire told me you guys have been married for like 40 years, so it kind of makes sense. Ah, that sure was a long time ago, but uh, we stuck together, you know, through thick and thin. That's cool. Well, call me old-fashioned, but uh, <clears throat> I think that's how marriage should be. <clears throat> oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey, I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um... No problem. Thanks so much. Feel free to keep on tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep the house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. Da Busy my ass. Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first. <sighs> Jeez. I know you're in there. Gotcha. What the? Behind you. Yeah. Very funny. <sighs> no more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Yeah, sure. It's hot. I know. Thanks. Okay. Easy peasy. Whew. Can we go outside now? Yeah. Let me just throw our clothes in the machine and we're good. How many programs does this thing have? Okay. It will do. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Hey! I want to be in your drawing. to take the pen, dude. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. <sighs> okay. Got it. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. I'm 
I'm not moving. Hey, can you power lift that rock so I can see the fish? Easy. Just watch. See? Hello, little guy. Oh, he's beautiful. Boring laundry? Done. Time for fresh air. Hey man, can you... fix this frame up there? Easy. Let's see. Perfect. <laughs> Nice. That thing was killing me. It's so weird to be back here again. Claire and Steven are kind of weird sometimes, but they do care about us. I'm glad they're spoiling Daniel. Wish I could. Dad never really got along with them, though. I barely know them. <laughs> Family, right? <laughs> We're safe. That's all I need. Weird. Sometimes I feel like we're complete strangers. Which we kind of are. <laughs> okay, time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Haha, <laughs> yes! Good to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin. Right? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> Watch out for the pack. <laughs> Get ready for storage wars. <gasps> What's wrong? Frozen shut. Of course. Sean, look! See what? We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, I just fell down into the snow. 
Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That's an awesome costume. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> oh man, I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It, it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. There are grandparents. Uh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I, uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, asks, tell her everything is f fine. Is it... really? Uh, never mind. See you around. Sure. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? No, you... You did the right thing. But listen, we can't let anybody know. We have to keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same exact thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel... Remember that we're hiding out, so no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? Fuck. That kitten never listens. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop? It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. These articles are almost a month old. Maybe they stopped looking for us? What the hell is this? 
I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Okay, let's get this Brack back home now. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm too soft with him. What the fuck? I'm gonna kill him. Daniel! What's going on here? Out. I can't explain. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things. Objects. With my mind. Oh. Superpower. Really? Yes. Great. And you don't realize what that implies? Everyone can see you from the outside. You could get in real trouble. This is dangerous. Do you understand? Yes. We hear you. We promise to be careful. This is just our secret, okay? Nobody can find out I'm the real Captain Spirit. And nobody will. Ever. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal! Totally! I'm gonna be... Super Wolf! What's your super name, Sean? Uh, how about... The Silver Runner? Cool? Cool, right? Hmm, not bad. That's true, you're a great runner. Okay guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh yeah, uh, sorry man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah, they share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations! And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Well, don't worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. No, I haven't done anything fun since I got sick. It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean. I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please. 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 <sighs> okay. You win. Not a fair fight. So let's go. <laughs> Yes! Yeah! See? Dangerous. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spirit's friends. And his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see.
The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Okay. How did I do? You're good. You guessed all right. You deserve a little reward. It's an interstellar traveler. I gave the other one to Daniel. Wow. Thanks, Chris. That's awesome. After all, you're part of the team now. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Sharp Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. Captain Spirit kinda took care of him. He might need a little surgery now. But they're all working for Mantroy, who is the real supervillain. You should see his evil planet. Why doesn't Captain Spirit stop him? He tried, but failed. That's why he needs Super Wolf. You know, Daniel, to prevent Mantroid from hurting other people. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Chris, it's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Yesterday, Stephen and her talked about your dad. I think they had a talk with him. Dad uh, just gets carried away sometimes when he drinks too much. But... But we're cool. No worries. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Chris... I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But... You'll be okay. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Thanks for clearing the snow from the porch. You're, you're awesome. You're welcome, Dad.
Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything. But don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow! So many trees! You coming, Sean? Don't worry. I'll be around. Hey, what's up? Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. What do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. I've never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah, these wild trees are just waiting to eat us. We'll have to tame the one we want. Hey. Hey, Sean. What's up? Just wanted to thank you for bringing us out here. Hey, no problem. I hope you'll find what you're looking for. It's kind of a tiny place. <laughs> it's perfect. Don't worry. Good luck with that tree. <laughs> yeah, I sure need it. It's not an easy task with this guy. Come get me when you're done. I will. Everything all right? All good. Quiet morning as usual. Good. Tell me if you need anything, okay? Sure. I'm okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. While well, he's still you busy with Chris. Handmade local products. Come take a look. That's way too expensive. That's way too expensive. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. to take the pen, dude. <sighs> okay. Got it. This place is nice. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. What are you drawing? Whoa! It's so cool! Are you like a professional? <laughs> no. Nah. More like the opposite. You could draw comic books, the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit and Super Wolf. 
pretty rad for Hollywood man. <laughs> yeah. I'll think about it. Hey, can you add something funny to your drawing? Funny? Like what? Uh, I don't know. Something cool. Uh, okay. Big question. Zombies? Or UFO? Mm, what about... A zombie attack? On Beaver Creek? Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. I hope I can draw like you one day. I'm sure you will, man. Hey, hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Uh, the Reynolds? Everybody knows Stephen. He was Beaver Creek's fire chief years ago. Uh, you're not his grandson, are you? Yes. I am. Oh, that's great. He told me about you, but um, that was a long time ago. It's been a few years, right? Yeah. Family stuff. I bet. Anyway, uh, look around, and if you find anything you want, I'll give you the special Reynolds discount. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Um, I'd like one of those snowmen things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. And, of course, you get the friendly price to celebrate the Reynolds reunion. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No, I'm good. Have a nice day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool, mission accomplished. We better leave now before Claire and Steven come back. Hmm. Quiet morning. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. Sorry, I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah, you got family. My grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Damn. That sounds kind of dangerous. <laughs> Not really. If you can run and jump, you're pretty much good to go. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. 
Stoner break. <laughs> Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. Hey, never too careful. Who knows what may crawl out of the air? <laughs> oh, the froze join forces! You're already perverting him, Finn. Sorry. I know suburban boys is your thing. <laughs> Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? <laughs> hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. Your doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. Should we do something about it? Better not get involved, man. This guy... doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought.
Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh, yeah, that girl. She just wanted some money. Don't we all? You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. Chris talked to me. He said that you sometimes lose it when you're drunk. Oh, fuck. You should get your stuff together, man. He does deserve better. I know. Trust me. He even started getting himself in trouble at school. That never happened before. I know it's because of me. Then... Maybe it's time for you to take action. I know I gotta do better. I, I can't let pain define who I am. Everyone has to go through some shit. Like your grandparents, for example. Life hasn't always been easy on them either. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. Yeah, my... My mom left my dad a long time ago. She... Never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. <sighs> Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. Oh, and, uh... Thanks for your honesty. I'll try my best to be a better dad for Chris. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. He was disappointed. Of course he was. You lied to him. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. 
Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me if you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you so you don't make a mess and get us caught. Find a way to open it. Sean, this is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, alright? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Yep, it's empty. Love the outfits, guys. Man, he looks so different. So young. Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? Still super cute, though. Karen's smile on this picture kind of reminds me of Daniel's. Would be cool to ask Steven about his firefighting career. He must have had tons of things to tell. Small town hero starter pack. Oh, shit. Wish I had the chance to find my thing too. That would have been really useful when we lived in the woods. Sean, hurry up! They might come back any minute. Yes, Daniel, I know. This whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Hey, I think that's the cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Yes. I found one key, so... It better fit. Just try it. Not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? They want to forget anything related what to Karen. Happened to all the stuff in hm. my room? I can relate. When we left. I'm sure everything's still there. Like we left it. Okay. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. Never been a big fan of hiking, but here I was, walking my way down to Mexico. Huh. I think I saw a moon eclipse once, before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us then. I miss my skateboard. You've seen everything I'm going to the park. To Claire and Steven will be home Let's soon now. Just five more minutes. Hmm, so 
Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. <sighs> yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. These pictures are so... random. They looked happy. How could you send all of this to hell? Is that an amethyst? <sighs> she was into New Age bullshit. I think I remember that one. Why would Karen showed it to me pictures? once. You... Ulysses? Ulysses, because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the same thing, too. Never seen any picture of Mom in our home. Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... the hero? I guess. So cool. Hi, Ulysses. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for Mom? Huh? Let me Daniel. see- Daniel! Come on. What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop! Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well... A cop-out, in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just... Stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? We were just looking. For answers. And, uh... Was it worth stealing my key? Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom stop. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us, but you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. 
I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy, after what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what... What are you doing, Daniel? Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Steven? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel. better come back. 
Hold on a second. Here. This is your cape. You're the real superhero. Thanks, Triss. That's super cool. Like you. Daniel, let's go! Take the troll forest shortcut. It's right through there. Nobody will find you. Chris? <sighs> you rock. Goodbye, Captain Spirit. See you around, Super Wolf. The Spirit Squad will stay united forever. Whoa! I feel like a, a fate superhero. Chris was so sad when he found out that... He had to find out anyway. Before he did something... dangerous. I know. I just feel sorry for him. Don't be. No matter what happened, I think you guys will always be friends. I hope. Sean... I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. I know, but sometimes I can help and how do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts and Listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Inanna. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. It's weird. But I like it. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard.
Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then, they worked together to learn how to use his power, and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick. So they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But they scared it away. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the old wolves helped the brothers escape. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south, to the distant homeland of their Papa Wolf.
No way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. Scored it at the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on. Pat thinks I'll stop skating if I get a car when I turn 16. Wrong. They're probably going to bury me in this thing. Whoa! Hold on! <gasps> Let go! S stop it! Dude, I told you to stay out of my room! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? Are you listening now? Thou shall not enter thy brother's room. What the fuck? Nice job. You started it, butthole. What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! We were just goofing around, Dad. I swear. He started it. He always gets mad He's at totally lying. You little- Enough! You both better listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything! Uh-huh. Let's talk. Ugh, now! This is so stupid! It's bullshit! Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look, please? Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up. You need space. More freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That... Little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I know that. And I do look out for him. I swear. But he's a little brat. So were you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay, I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him. 
like you are now. <laughs> says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work. Can I come in? It's the big, bad brother. No! Stay out! I said no! Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening! La 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 la! I come don't on, hear dude. anything! La 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 la! Whoa! Don't know who drew this, but. It's totally red. Hey, Daniel. Why are you pouting? A young space warrior should never pout. We need to stand strong against the enemy. Come on, man. I'm running out of punchlines here. <sighs> Leave me alone. Oh, you kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. Why are you still here? And don't touch my stuff. Oh, I forgot about Bobby the Yeti. <laughs> I brought it back from that field trip to Vancouver. I mean, who does that? Other than a super cool big brother. Ah, he's right, Daniel. You should totally forgive him. See? I'm not saying it. Bobby does. <laughs> Sean, I'm gonna tell on you. I mean... Pam, haven't seen you in forever. That made me give this to you. You always wanted my toys. Does this even work anymore? Not after you took care of it. Poor robot. No battery. Duh. Come on. Go away! Oh, now you can hear me? Hey, that's cool. Did you make it? Be careful! Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly you're Mr. Careful. <sighs> okay, if I sit down. So, when did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself. Since you're not around as much. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm leaving home. You might as well. I never see you. We don't even play games anymore. We don't do anything. Daniel, I just... I want to hang out with my friends sometimes. You're going to be doing the same thing in a couple of years. Hi. I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. So 
sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd get me one at the thrift store last week, but you forgot. Like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Wow! Thanks, Sean! This is so cool! I'll keep it forever and ever. Still can't believe we ran into the guys again. Talk about fucking fate. Yep. I'm a real man now. Kind of. <sighs> Another month, and we'll be hooked up for Mexico. <sighs> Daniel keeps reading it, again and again. I told him not to count on her. He won't listen. Hmm. Guess he doesn't care about it anymore. He doesn't talk about it, but... I know Daniel really misses Chris. Man. Beaver Creek feels so far away. Hey, Bedhead. Had a good sleep? Oh! Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay. I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. See your hound. Hey, Sean. Breakfast time. Bottom reading in the morning. Like he isn't cool enough already. I thought I liked weed, but this guy's on a whole nother level. Glad somebody's getting some action. Weird to see him younger. Finn looks so innocent. Finn told me a bit more about train hopping. This map is like his Bible. Ah, can't tag a train without paint. I 
It's a mystery how Finn can be so messy and strong at the same time. That girl is even more of a sleepyhead than I am. Gotta have backup signs. Jeez. She's way messier than me. It's hard to believe. I do love these trees. Ancient and majestic. That's cool they let us use their extra gear. We lucked out. I'm not quite sure who Penny is. He's so out there. Hannah's so private about her life. Plus, she probably hates my guts. Did you see all that fog earlier? Creeps me out. I don't know what's inside. Like that movie. The sun has saved us. Ah, oh, no more fog. Sweet. These guys have top gear. Wish I did. What's hey, the day today? today? Is it the 15th or yeah, 16th? Yeah, I'm just smoked too much again. I'll get him up before Big Joe gets here. Good. What's up, Jake? Hey, Sean. Not much. What do you got going on there? Uh, this is a birthday card for my little sister. <sighs> Don't laugh. Aw, that's cute. How old is she? She's nine years old now. <laughs> like Daniel. Do you miss her? I probably miss her the most. I'm kind of jealous you get to hang out with your brother all the time. But I, I bet it's hard to be his brother and father figure. <laughs> yeah. I do miss being on my own sometimes. You know, privacy, stuff like that. Really? I hate being alone. I guess I'm used to having people around. Hey, since you're such a pro big bro, what's a good way to end this letter? Goodbye sounds a bit lame, right? Well, what is she into? Like anime or video games? Uh, puppies? <laughs> she has a pet chicken named Alexander. <laughs> Sarah loves that thing, but it creeps me out. <laughs> Why not draw a creepy portrait of Alexander? Good idea. It'll match my <laughs> chicken scratch perfectly. Anyway, thanks for your help, Sean. I gotta finish this before I get ready for work. Don't want to be late or Big Joe will eat me for lunch. You and me both. See you later, Jake. Sean, thanks again, man. Jake's stuff is always so tidy and neat. Just like him. Must. Have. Coffee. Coffee time, Sean. Man, grab something to sit your ass down. What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm, maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. You mean bugs? I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean, 
Sean, narc, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You saw them? When? How? Because Vision and Sean, they watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. Same here. Plus, this was a steady gig. Don't want to hit the road yet. Tanya won't either. Don't puss out if the narc show. Meryl takes care of his peeps. Yeah, he's a major dick. But fair. He always puts us to work every season. Some of us need this shit job. Not the tourists here. Cush gig. But not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. Well, at least they can't just screw over workers, like here. What? That means people like you and me will be fucked. No paperwork, no job. Truth. I hear you. Oh, um, did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. <laughs> Welcome to Cafe Diaz. Try my special morning brew. Nice. I like that gourmet shit. I keep thinking you're Dutch. <laughs> because we... Where from again? Sweden. Malmö. You wouldn't hear about it. What the fuck, man? You're awesome. Come on, once again. Yes, I'm the man. <laughs> Holy shit, that was dope. What's up, guys? Morning target practice? Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja. Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey. Seriously. I've never seen anyone throw like that. Wow. Finn trained you well. Six bull-sized dude. Yeah. I got better. Lucky. You can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts. How did you learn to aim so good? Practice. Yeah. Right. Hey, wow. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean, idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? It was my turn. Come on, let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a shot. Sean, hold your right arm. Yeah. More like this. Better alignment. Better aim. Won't really help. Dude, what's wrong with you? Blam! 
right between the fucking eyes. Damn. Oh. oh. Did you guys escape from some circus? Mm. That was just luck. Seriously, that shit was off the chain. One time is luck. Second time is skill. So let's see. <laughs> let's show the kid what- Oh, fuck that! <laughs> Missed. See? I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja. But you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah. What would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Whew. After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! Don't go yet. Uh, it's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? You think that shit is funny? What shit? Stop acting stupid. You're pushing it, Daniel. You made me miss. In front of Finn. What if he finds out, huh? What then? I'm not stupid. He won't find out. You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that! I'm not a kid anymore! Daniel, don't... Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Now! Or what? I said stop, Daniel! Don't run me! Uh. Uh. I I'm sorry! I, I didn't mean to! I'm okay. It's fine. I told you. You're good, but you don't have control over your powers yet. Yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with your new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job, okay? But you're right. Let's, um, do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Lobos. Remember? It's gonna take forever. We should try and find Mom. Since we have her letter now. We already had this conversation. Sorry, Daniel. But we can't. We don't even know where Karen really is. And we can't risk getting caught while looking for her. She's... one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. I hear you. It's not fair, but you're my brother, and my responsibility. I have to take care of you. I know, but I'm not going to be a kid forever. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh-oh. Big Joe. Hey. You don't wear your watch anymore? What? Oh. No. I put this on instead. Finn gave it to me. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Pretty cool. Hey, Daniel. Remember what I said. Low profile. <sighs> yeah. Okay. We're cool. I don't like working on a farm. I know. It could be way worse. We're making cash, Inano. Okay, okay. Wish we could... send Chris a present. Or something. Or... maybe just check on him. We will, Daniel. When we're safe and far away. I know.
I had fun playing hide and seek last night, especially in the dark. You weren't scared at all? <laughs> Come on. Not with Finn. We had the best hiding spot. here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to get me a knife. <laughs> Mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh... Nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. Hey, little man. So at this point, you know, I'm like, whatever, dude, eye. just right. give me more booze, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jump. You're not listening to anything I say. So cut it down. Are you? Yeah. What? Jeez, yes, I am. Cut me too. The party. Oh, shit. Too, too much sex, guys. Are you okay? Too much sex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <I was laughs> two peas in a pod, these ones. I'll show you the battle oh, scars. Who was so high last night? Is Sean jealous? Cool. Nah. I I love just you. keeping you an eye out. Careful with that, you know? though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Big brother watching. Hey, who's the next That's master cute. here? On test. Did you lock the tent? You want to see stuff we're showing in that even? So. Wrong. How do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up yeah, here? <laughs> with us misfits. Well, Man, we I still feel like an outsider, you know? Ah, you oh, you're doing great. Trust me. Meet the meat fear. I was way worse than you when I joined the gang. Really? Please, don't hurt me. Looks like you found it. Oh, hey! I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there. I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sat phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? Told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. <laughs> he's just a goon, guys. Bet he worked for some gang. Must have done something bad to end up here. Duh. Boring. <laughs> yeah, boring. Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Oh. Come on. <sighs> yep. <laughs> it's kind of a mystery. <laughs> hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake.
no wheat. All right. Who's ready for another great day in the office? God. Oh. Somebody doesn't want to be employee Man. of the month. I'm so fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Sir, yes, sir. Come on, Sean. We're gonna be late. Right. Listen up. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, Anders, and what's your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Girls gotta sit in their asses while the males are outside? Yeah, right on. Like I wanna go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you wanna trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside. Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work in the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah! You heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, no ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls, but this is a pot farm and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. Right. I'm... gonna go check on him then. How old is he anyway? Oh, uh, nine. He's nine years old. Jeez, tough age. Gotta keep a close eye on him. Not my business, but... You got kids? Yeah, a daughter. Twelve years old. Do you... do you get to see her? Not often. But she needs the money I get out here. Okay, I'm not your buddy. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Hey. You okay? Now for the fun part, I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it! All right, we good? Eh, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told him they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, you know the drill. <sighs> what? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. I hear you, but we're not. This is just our job, man. We have to follow Meryl's rules. For now. Stop. 
especially you. What do you mean? He's not into having kids around here. So don't give him any excuse to get pissed off. Yeah, you never know with Meryl. He can be cool, but scary when he loses his shit. Okay, jeez. Not doing anything bad. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet, for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around, then? None of your damn business. <sighs> but I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right, man. Just pick a bud and get to it. Shit. I hate these scissors. Oh, this is nothing. Last spring we were trimming about two or three pounds a day. Whoa! That's a lot. Yep. Had to work overnight all the time. Fifteen hours straight once. Yeah, trying to forget. I was done with Kush after that. <laughs> I should clean my scissors. Oh, we are They're a mess. Right, and then your arms fall off. Fuck all that. Yeah. Fuck this. This game sounds bad, man. What is it? You got work to do. Mind your own business. <laughs> okay. Whatever, Mr. Grumpy. Jeez. It's called Mustard Party, okay? What? You're playing Mustard Party? Jeez. That's so cool. I used to be on the scoreboard. Cool. I don't care. <laughs> oh, Joseph. Are you not on the scoreboard? <laughs> Shut up. You got work to do. Okay, sweetie? It's okay. You're doing fine. Just slow down if you need to. I know. I will. Thanks, Sean. hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Okay. Just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. You could be taking orders for fries and burgers. Uh, I don't think so. Then be glad you're here. Mm hmm. Hmm. Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. What? What? What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. <laughs> Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess. Yes. <laughs> but worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see.
Teddy. Meryl here. Sure. Yeah. But for real, okay. though, if you could snap your fingers and go anywhere. Cassidy, we get it. Over and over. Hey, come on. You don't want to be here. Give me a break. I can't. So what? So I'm allowed to dream a little? You won't get hurt. <laughs> Promise. What about Louisiana? Must be so sweet this time of year. Jesus. Okay, man. Calm down. Jesus. Hey, how about visiting Uranus? <laughs> That's very clever, Big okay. Joe. No. Bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. No you guys are all the same. Cool, I mean. let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. Oh, this is Joe, my life. Come here for a sec. <sighs> Shit. It's always something. Damn. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. Whoa, whoa. Down. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. Please. I bust my ass like everybody else. Uh-huh. Don't even. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts. Wah, wah. Get off my crack, Hannah. <sighs> We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we gonna squat out here forever? Build a house? What? Stop! You know we voted to stay for a while. Once it's legal, Just we ain't got no more job here. Shit. How's it going? Same as always. They want everything by tomorrow. Friday? How are we supposed to... I'm just over this place. Then go! Ugh. Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus, or off the bus. Thanks, Mom. Anything else? Yeah. But we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. my problem, Joseph. You're clueless. You know the drill. Do your work. Yeah. Sure. Fuck this shit. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. It's been a long, crappy week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay? Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. You gotta be careful with those scissors. They're sharp as fuck. Yeah, no shit. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. It ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? I did. Love the Jerry Springer moment, when Hannah and Cass started picking on each other. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. Short-term memory loss. How was your day? Did you have fun outside? <laughs> nope. Picked up branches and shit. Got covered in mud. Would not recommend. Still sounds better than sitting on your ass all day. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. 
a job, cash, friends, safety. John, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? Swear. He acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. Yeah, <laughs> my brothers are like that. So, what's your story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were okay. <laughs> I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aww. <laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kinda... Mm, messed up. My dad was like a... front for hot cars. Yeah. He'd steal, strip, and sell them. My brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. Till we got busted. Fucking feds wanted me and my brothers to testify. <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. Damn, Finn. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack. And anyways, I found a cooler family out here. You know? I love traveling, checking out new things. Yeah, never gets old. <laughs> well, going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. If we make it there, dude, who knows? It's pretty scary. So fucking far. Hey, hey it is. But you have time and a strong, uh... Damn it. Uh, Will. Yeah. N nothing can stop you from going there. Uh, it will be all right, Sean. Don't worry. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, Sean. Finally. Glad I can help. So, Hannah, how long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa Fe because it was hell. No money, nobody. Hitched north, worked on farms, learned how to trim. Had to bail after some tweaker tried to attack me up in Arcata. What? That is awful, Hannah. I almost killed that fuck. But I came back to Humboldt because of Finn. I had this sweet deal with Meryl. It is nicer here than other places we saw. Too many junkies and homeless. They go together sometimes. No home. Get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Clean it up. We see so much trash in the forest around here. California is very green, but starting to look like shit. Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit. Especially when you live off the grid. We all should try. It's everybody's planet too. Sweden is not perfect. But we try to be more eco-conscious. We only have one planet. Not for long. It's true. We gotta do something. That's what we're saying. Blah fucking blah. Taurus talking shit again. Like you guys have it so hard. We did not say that we did. Tell me again how many hours you spent on a plane during your awesome trip around the world. And then you come crying about hobos spreading garbage in the forest? Good point. Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa lecturing us. Funny, right? Hannah, I'm sorry. We were not trying to lecture you. We are grateful we found that job and that you let us stay in the camp with you guys. I know. We're cool. Do you hate us now? You're funny. Don't worry. You'd know if I hated you. All I care about is my family right here. These three gutter punks. The rest? 
None of my business. Not used to peeling potatoes, huh? A lot of work. I know how to cook. Just not everything yet. Yeah, but you hate it. You want a pizza, watch TV. I can tell. Like those kids who come through here all psyched, and they have to bust ass, and they're gone. Yeah, well, thanks. You have no clue who I am, or the shit I've been through. I know, I know. We all got scars of our own. I just fucking hate phonies. Too many here. Crusty backpack doesn't make you one of us. I know, that's not what I'm trying to do. Last thing I want is to interfere with your group. I'm not saying you can never fit. Just letting you know how it is. You can't be part of our family unless you open up. This is a family too, not a pit stop. Out in the wild, sharing is caring. I hear you, but my brother comes first. Always. That's good. Shows you're not a selfish prick. That way too many. So, how did you hook up with the others? Met Finn at some squat when he got out of jail. Young punk, but old soul. We just clicked. Then we ran into Cassidy a year ago. Pissed at everything. Hurt. Unable to commit to anything. Except us. Then Pennywise found us. Here in Humboldt. Tripping about his friend Jinx. But, you know. He just fit in. Now we're all pretty fucking tight. Hell yeah you are. It's awesome. You don't have to tell me, but how did you end up on the road? My community was a mess. Too much wasted talent. My mom, she was an artist and a drunk. Tried to get her into rehab countless times. Worked my ass off to buy her paint and stuff. Until I realized she was just returning everything to Z-Mart to get the cash back to buy her booze. I just knew I had to get the fuck out before that curse would get me to. I'm glad you're at peace now. So, are you satisfied with your life now? I'm grateful for what I have, yeah. Not everything is perfect, but we got balance prospects. That's way more than I had before. Thanks for taking the time to talk, Hannah. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, didn't mean to grill you, Sean. It was a long day. Whoa. Hannah's tough to figure out. Don't fuck with her. Hello, Dolly. You're old. That's some deep shit. So cool he carries this around. Wish I could see the pictures he took of us. Hmm. Wonder who's her mom. And who's the other woman? Must be tough to be so far away from his sister. Weird. Where did he get that from? Oh, I think I will miss it here. Same. But we can't resist the wanderlust. Plus, Portland's waiting for us. <sighs> I think I'll take a nap. Me too. Yes, I know. Go fill the water tanks. I have one job. Hey. Hola. <laughs> ¿Qué está, señor? <laughs> Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Estás ensayando para la voz? Uh... No comprendo. <laughs> Don't laugh. Still learning, professor. <laughs> At least you're trying. Hey, 
Am I bugging you? <laughs> Never. But let me finish this new song before I forget it. Don't let me get in the way. Talk later. She's so natural. I wish I could be more like that. Socializing is hard. What up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood, and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. Finn is too punk rock to be a farmer. Finn's attitude is so nonchalant, like he's not bothered by anything. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Bo! <laughs> Man, you are so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um... Thanks. <laughs> that may be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back. Please, Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. <laughs> Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> You're good. Oh, no way. That looks exactly like him. He would love it. Don't you think that's weird? Why would it be? Don't overthink everything, Sean Diaz. Well, I could never draw like that. What's her secret? I don't know. I just get inspired by the things I see and do. And uh, being around people like you helps. A lot. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like Finn does inspire you, huh? Watching him has taught me a lot. Yeah, he has this kind of aura. You know, he, he found us this place and helped us pull through. Yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. Yeah, but... Life isn't easy going from place to place. I don't know how you do it. I mean, I do because we did, but it's still hard. <sighs> Hope we can just get to Mexico. Oh, you will. You guys came a long way already. You're tougher than you think. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. <sighs> I do like traveling around, but... I want a base. Will you ever go back to Texas? Going back to all the crap I left behind? No way. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> Everything. Because I didn't appreciate shit when I had it. Like, just waking up at night to get a bowl of fucking squeaky next cocoa <laughs> oh my god i used to eat those too you always think it's gonna be there stupid stuff like that but things change 
Right. Yep. So keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> Done. Need two more hands, Dishmaster? Uh, yeah. That'd be cool. I'm on it. So boring. <laughs> yeah. I don't miss doing the dishes. Then why are we doing... That's it. Finally. Need a hand with your own chores? That'd be awesome. I need help moving the water tanks to the shower and kitchen. Okay. I'll wait for you near the water tank, so we can take on those barrels. Let's get these over to the kitchen and the shower. Okay, let's do this. Carefully. <laughs> By the way, you kicked ass today. You have been all week. Thanks, man. I know this sucks, but you're a good worker. Now that we have a nice stash, we don't have to stay long. I really don't trust these guys. And Big Joe's got. 360 vision. More like big joke. Hate that guy. Don't let him hear you say that. Seriously. He's not funny. That's what Finn calls him. Well, you're not Finn. These guys are dangerous, understand? They don't fuck around. Jeez. Are you scared? This game is bigger than us, Daniel. Older too. Well, I'm not scared. Your power doesn't make you invincible. Yeah, it's just here to move barrels around. <sighs> wow, it's the incredible Sean. Didn't realize our bro was so buff. Damn, trimming is hard. How do these guys keep coming back? Hey, Daniel. Thanks for saving my back. I owe you. Cool. Hey, you said we could go training today? I did, I did. Ready when you are, young master. Yes! Let's meet at the lake. Sauce. I like Hannah, though. Ooh. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. She's honest and tough like a warrior. <sighs> yeah. Maybe too honest sometimes. I thought that was a good thing. Not when she just likes to fuck with people. Well, she's cool to me. Sorry. Pennies all over the place. <laughs> it's 
sweet. But can you do it without your power? Oh, yeah. I can do better with my own skills now. Next level. Onward. Ready to rumble? I am so ready. Let's start with our team howl. T.S. Lobos. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Yeah, we still sound okay. Now, let's do this. Come on. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. that tree trunk? Duh. Hey! <laughs> Your face! Come on. I wasn't gonna drop it on you. Very funny, man. Okay, let's have some fun. Uh, think you can lift all those? I know I can. Whoa, Daniel, that's a, that's amazing. Is that all you got? Pick a rock, any rock. Okay, and? Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay, you're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on! Holy shit! That was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? I told you I rule. Hmm, let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, it's toast. I'm waiting. Or maybe you... What the? That was some next-level shit, Daniel. Thanks. I've been... training on my own sometimes. I know I haven't been around a lot lately. You still have to be careful with it, man. You always want it both ways. Use it, then don't. We just have to make sure you can control it. Well... It's my power, not yours. Whatever. What's wrong with you, man? 
I don't like this new emo Daniel. You keep throwing your attitude at me for no reason. Sick of it. Am I a bad big brother? Because I hang out with other people? You're always with them! That sucks. Oh, come on, Daniel. Bet you don't even want me around anymore. Don't say that. You know it's always you and me and I know. I mean, never mind. That's it, enough. You're being a brat. Can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together, right? I know it sucks. But you have to grow up now. Stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No! Serious munchies. Any chips left? Dude, you scarfed the whole fucking bag. Have another hit. Yeah, yeah. I packed a fat bow. You're getting tired, babe. You shouldn't have made had a long death to leg ducks. I took both roads everywhere. Whoa. You see that shit? It's a fucking UFO! I'm oh, serious, man, look! They're finally coming to take you back! Tripped on a few words, but y'all are baked, so I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. That was cool, Cassidy. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <laughs> <clears throat> hint, hint. John. Take a puff, and pass it to your friend. Nah, I'm... I'm good. Daniel! No fucking way. Jeez! Huh. I was just joking. Ha ha. You better be. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah! There go the party animals. What is it? Like, ten o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Gonna Sleep act. tight. Jeez, I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Who's black flag? It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah, something like that. A year ago, we were hopping mm. a train, just me, Finn, and Cass. And Black Flag. 
We got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. I had to run for it. He saw that train from afar and went straight at it. Cops right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. That sucks, Hannah. We lost a dog too, Little Mushroom. It's hard, but shit. That's life. So you gotta walk on. Jeez. Sorry, I ruined the mood. Don't worry, hands. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst memory. Fair and square. <laughs> Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need to say our piece once in a while. Who's up? Penny? Cool. Let's stop the violins. Check this out. Say hello to my little friend, Jinx. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. He seemed to get better with me. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. He said he never gave his trust in no one before. We used to come here every now and then, hook up on cash. But he disappeared, a few miles north from here, in a pot farm just like this one. He went out one night, high as fuck, and zoomed. That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Is that how you got your name? Yup. Oh. He must mean a lot to you. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus, the guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. I hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. Can we do worse? Uh, Jake? Please? Well, just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. A true mm. believer. Mm. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada. Small community. We have this amazing mm. reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's... Intense, but for some reason things Happened to me and I started doubting myself It kind of escalated people said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers. I was looking for Even from my own folks. I Know the feeling I felt so lost <sighs> Wasn't sure what to believe anymore So I left I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son. Maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. Right, your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff. You probably did the right thing. I hope you find the space and answers you need. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh, uh-uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else, yeah, I've got a whole bag of these. Don't worry. Well, this is after me and Daniel took off from Seattle last year. We ended up at this redneck gas station. 
in the middle of nowhere. But our pictures were on, like, every local newspaper. Fucking gutter press. So the owner shows up and knocks my ass out. He tied me up and called the cops. I hope you beat his racist ass to a pulp. Actually, Daniel did all the work. He got us out before the cops arrived. Oh, oh. that's my jam. Damn vigilantes. Yeah, life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow, like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. Come on, bull fucking Oh, you shit, started this man. shit, bitch. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just gotta focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Wanna know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dis functional family. We just chill and, and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. And that's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend. Property. Land. Family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um... Coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And... Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night-night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Here's in. <laughs> oh, twist my arm. I... Uh, Teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day too. Night, everyone. Hey. I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? Yep. Yeah, I'm ready to crash too. Let's go. What? No! You're gonna miss our makeover skills. I'll fall asleep, and then you'll turn my ear on. Oh, get out of here. Good night, Finn. Night, Sweet night. Dreams, yeah. See you in the morning. You didn't have to come with me, you know? I know. Hey, can we talk about what happened on the lake? Yeah? It kind of bummed me out when you said that you weren't a kid anymore. I mean, I know you're not, but I'm going to miss it. I can't help it, Sean. Things are so different now. I miss my friends, my room, my playbox, everything. It all seems so far away now. I know I'm not always nice with you, but things aren't nice anymore. I know. But don't let this change who you are. I just wish I could have a normal life again. And stop being so angry all the time. I'm just so tired of all this crap. I feel the same way, dude. It's okay. Just 
Don't feed the beast, you know? Yeah. You know, I still like it. But it's kind of tight on me now. Yeah. You're too big for it. I am? But I would like to hear about the Wolf Brothers, if that's okay. Just don't tell the others. Okay? Promise. All right. Get comfy. Where were we? Oh, yeah. The Wolf Brothers joined a pack of hounds that roamed all over. Finally, the brothers had found new friends. But the little wolf wasn't so sure about the new pack. He didn't want his brother to run away with them. And so the little wolf would howl and prowl, not knowing what was going on. But he didn't know that nothing could ever separate the wolf brothers from each other. Ever. Okay, this is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or 
Or some hookers or cocaine. Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm, I think he's heard worse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You gotta treat yourself after all this hard work. <sighs> Seriously, we have to save every dime, so... <sighs> hookers will wait. <laughs> Trust me, they will. So that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah, like your beach house in Costa Rica? Okay, let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and, uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know, but we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes, and don't do anything. Nothing. I won't. I swear. Okay, we'll be right back. Ugh. For once, you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. I bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. Very nice trims. Good work, kid. Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, I wasn't! I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let Shh. him go! I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You wanna frisk him? <sighs> Look at him! He's just following his big brother! Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Uh, oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's Bullshit, man! Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir, quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way, now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph, just teach him a lesson. Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it. It's mine. <gasps> Ow! What? 
Okay. Okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look! Whoa. That's it. Believe it or not, told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn, I would be scared shitless. We're careful. I'm always here. In case anything happens. And I practice every day. Man. So, Sean, maybe this shit is in your DNA, too. Do you have a superpower? Nada. Zero. Nothing. Trust me. I tried. Really? When? Do you have any idea where it comes from? I mean, it can't be random. I figured it started in Seattle. Maybe the shock triggered something. Fuck, I don't know. But... I still don't remember. Don't worry about it. Damn, you're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word that you'll keep all this to yourself, seriously. Oh, this stays right with us. Promise, you can trust us. Jake? I don't know, I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. It's my job now, man. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic bullshit. You still can't tell anybody. Come on. I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Or Daniel. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh, not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Okay. Talk later. He's right. It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. Uh, hold up. You know, there's a lot of money around here. Oh, no. What the fuck are you talking about? Meryl's safe. It's like a fucking ATM. I've seen it. Me too. In the back of the room. How you outlaws gonna get the combination? Me? No fucking way, Finn. Don't pull a kid into your stupid shit. Uh, getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. So you can be a beach bum? You're so selfish, man. Uh, how? Sean and Daniel are out of work. They deserve this. And ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? You know these assholes are armed, right? I guess... I... didn't... think about that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I was just... having a brain fart. Let's have a beer and forget about it, Sean. Cool? Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap, okay? 
He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think he did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna drink the crap out of this party. So should you. Plus, since it's your last night, time for your tattoo. What? Are you getting a tattoo? Dude, I want one. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. Okay. I know I shouldn't have gone in there. Don't yell. Now there's three more people who know about your power. Don't worry. We can trust them. They said they won't tell. I know, but... What if anyone gets scared and calls the cops? You don't know what can happen. Yeah, maybe. We'll just have to be careful then. <sighs> At least we won't have to worry about any of this once we're in Puerto Lobos. Who cares about Puerto Lobos? We'll talk later. Are we really getting kicked out of this place? We don't have enough money to go down to Mexico. What the fuck are we supposed to do? <laughs> I hope we'll meet again. You taught me so much. <laughs> have a seat. <laughs> have a beer. To our last night together. And to your next adventure. So, what are you going to do next? <laughs> Figure out what I'm going to do. Me and Daniel are homeless again. Well, <laughs> when I got out of jail, <laughs> I had nobody but me. My brothers were still in the joint. <laughs> they still are. I stayed with a friend. Nobody could find me. Yeah, then I just said, fuck it. Took off. That was it, man. No more family. Just me. Always trying to find a new daddy. Or new bros. Yeah. Stupid. I knew I had to cut everything off. Start over all for myself. That's what you're doing. Yeah. You're starting all over. And now... You... Just gotta take the next step to build a something for you and Daniel, right? I know you're right, Finn. It's just a fucking lot to think through. <laughs> no, it's not. You just gotta trust your gut, Sean. Life will follow. Yeah. No, oh, it's gonna be all right, laddie. You, uh, have enough cash for the trip? I doubt it, but we'll see. Hey, it's bullshit after all this. You deserve a lotto for life. Seriously. How are you two gonna get to Mexico? Hitchhike? Walk? Hey, just hear me out, man. There's only one way out of this for you. One way to hook yourself up. Listen, we got this, Sean. Daniel can open that safe with his eyes closed. Come on. No, Meryl's probably wasted, like every night. You guys can get to Puerto Lobos in style, with a, a nest egg. You don't want Daniel to be homeless anymore, right? Huh? Then let's do this. I wouldn't let you in on this if I had any doubt. Are you positive we can do this without getting busted? Absolutely. Candy from a baby. Mm, okay. 
Fuck it. We're in. Yes, fucking A! You are the man! <laughs> I knew you and me were the same. I felt it from the start. I also thought it'd be cool if you and Daniel stayed with us after we're done. Really? You'd be cool with that? Only if you are. No pressure. I'm really glad we met, Sean. I feel like we have a strong connection. <laughs> That's me. I always getting obsessed over people I meet. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I... I think I feel... the same. What are you afraid of, then? Nothing. I think I'm gonna miss this place. No shit. I love it too. I'm so fucking glad we ran into you guys. This was... the single best experience in my whole life. Yeah. It's always a wild ride. I'm glad you're on board now. I mean... if you're in... looks like... You're ready for the long haul. Yeah. I feel... different now. In a good way. Right on. <laughs> you sure ain't no puff anymore. There's so many things we can do together, Sean. Yeah. I'd like that. So, um, how do we work this out tonight? It's early, so just go party. Hug everybody goodbye. Then talk to Daniel and come get me when you're ready. Cool? Cool. By the way, Sean, it was a cool moment. <laughs> wow. That was... wild. Never thought I could actually do it. So glad I did. I... kinda wanna do it again. Okay, shut up. Better tell Daniel about Finn's plan. Get things ready for tonight. That's some serious wood. Crapping skills. <laughs> Let's keep that souvenir. From the master sculptor. So this is it, once again. Can't pull our shit together for more than a month. At least I got to try something new. Different. With Finn. Feels fucking good. For the first time, I don't miss home. I just want to move forward. I 
I already miss these psychos though. But if we manage tonight's plan, maybe we'll stick together for a while. Shit. We'll see. Stop overthinking. You're not a teenager anymore. little man uh, I miss I miss my play box what are play bots like robot stuff play box not play box it's for video games ah that's why I don't know it sorry I just it's hard for me to say some words Daniel you got nothing to be sorry about that's who you are. Everybody is different. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Sarah. St hey, can I talk to you for a sec? Uh, yeah? Over here. What's up? Hey, Sean. I'm sorry about earlier. Dude, I... I'm sorry too. Didn't mean to flip out. Now listen. Finn told me more about that safe. Said it'd be easy peasy. I think we could use that cash. It would save our ass for our trip. I know. So, do you want to do it or what? Thinking about it, but it's up to you, Danny. Yeah, I mean, they're bad people, and we need the money, so just this once, right? So, are we gonna do it, huh? Yes, we are now, but seriously, don't do anything unless I say so. If something happens, run away. Oh man, nothing's gonna happen. I mean it. Don't even think. Run. Jeez. Okay. I'll run. Promise. That's what I want to hear. Love you, brother. Me too. So, are we going? Big Joe better be asleep, man. Oh, he's down for the night. Fuck him. Maybe we should make sure. Just in case. No fucking way, Daniel. That house is a death trap. Big Joe probably has an arsenal. The whole place is probably booby-trapped. That's not our mission. Oh, man. The gate is locked. We just gotta get inside and get some wheels. No way I'll break that. Guys, this one's on you. Daniel, maybe you can... Uh, you better step back. Try to keep it quiet. If you can, Big Joe might wake up.
Ooh. Lights out, now. Hi. Man, did you really need to do this? At least no one will be watching us now. Quiet, Sean. Listen, see anything? Mm. Oh, thank God. Okay, troops, we're invisible now. No lights, no sound, no nothing. Cool? Yeah. I'll try that truck. Cool. What do you want me to do, Sean? Stay with me. I might need your help. Right? Okay. Figures. Check the other door now. Guys, that truck is sealed. Maybe the car then? One door left to check. Check it out. So, all the doors are locked, but we just gotta get into one car. I, I think I can get that truck started. What? How? Talk. My dad was a mechanic. He once showed me how to hotwire his tow truck, just in case. Sean is a fucking repo man. <laughs> that is hot. Plus, we could, uh, mess with all the other cars, so Big Joe can't follow us. You're starting to scare me. You're too good at this. So, what are we supposed to do? We can look for things to use. Anything destructive. I feel that. We can break the windows and shit. Just keep quiet. Maybe we can get in through here. No way. Daniel, can you open that window? Watch me. You're a pro. Hey, Nano. Think you can climb in that back window and open the doors? Let me try. Just be careful and quiet. Sweet. Hello, we got this. You're good, Diaz. Just hope we didn't wake up the dragon. No stress, it wasn't that loud. Okay, let's do this. Yes! By the man, Sean Diaz. <laughs> eh, not that. Okay, let's rob these motherfuckers.
face. I'm not scared. That's what I like to hear. We're gonna be in and out. I'm glad you're with me, Sean. To the end and shit. Right? To the end and shit, man. Listen. We have to be totally quiet now. I've got the kitchen keys, so we got an easy entrance. Here you go. Whoa. Nice job. Get in. Bust that safe. Grab the money, then head back to the camp and bail out with everyone. You sure they're gonna be okay with that? They will when they see the money. Trust me. Let's move. Man, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Really? Fucking A. Meryl can be cool, but he's still just a fucking crook. He doesn't give a rat's ass about anything. By the way, careful, guys. The place is rigged with cameras. Daniel, see that surveillance camera? Totally. I got it. Check out that one. Just gotta get inside. You think we'll open that safe easy? Don't worry, little man. Trust me. I know this model. Breakable. Really? Okay. We know you can do it. <sighs> Thanks. Daniel, can you lift up that bar behind the door? sleeping. Let's get in quick. is safe. We grab the money, then get the fuck out. Sound like a plan? Man, 
Just focus. Don't rush. Almost there. Yes! You did it! Are you okay? We did it! We're rich! Oh, good job, Daniel. Man, I've never touched this much cash my whole life. Do you realize the things we can do with this money? Thank you, Daniel. We are a badass team. What is this? You have to be shitting me! You losers are actually trying to rip me off? Try not to be so fucking loud! All right, move your asses over there. Now! Uh, Meryl, uh, <laughs> boss, <laughs> I know this looks bad, but- Stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. So, what was your big fucking plan exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punks work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? No, no, it's not about you. I thought you were different, smart, but you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. What now? You all really fucked up. I can't just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy. Or painless. Okay. On your knees. Hands on your heads. Don't do this. Don't. Come on, sir. We... we could talk. I'm serious. On your knees. Now! Wait. Let me explain. Oh, yeah? Explain this. Ah! Uh! Don't insult me by acting like you've got a reason to steal. Don't! For the last time, get on your fucking knees! Meryl? No! Don't break my balls now, kid. Daniel, you got this. Don't move. He can't do this. Don't ah. fucking move! It's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I have a family to look after too. I gotta protect them first. Can't let you play me anymore. Daniel, do it! Get out! Go out, son of a bitch! Wait! Stop!
Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with the leader of the pack, and he taught him so much about life. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Wish we didn't go along with Finn, even though I wanted to. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes. I swear. <gasps> Stop!
Fuck. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. I'm glad the cops didn't mess with them, too. I really hope they could keep going. Ugh, I can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Can't catch shit. Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, guess I'm done. So hard to focus. <clears throat> Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. This room feels like a prison. But I'd rather stay here than go to Jolina Shore. This must be my punishment. Yo, afternoon checkup. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Before they... Check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes, nice retina response. Okay, now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Good, good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. Sean, you got this. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Your depth perception will always be affected, so you gotta try harder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. 
Hey, good job. Okay, let's do it again. Damn, <laughs> you hit a double today. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. I'm a pirate without a patch. Arr. I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. Well, I know it sucks for you, but... <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now, you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dress Hey, up. sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> he ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison, or you can talk to me. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way! And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah! He came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no! Look at me! Okay, let's just... Jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus two seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. The only statement we have is yours. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay, fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His or yours, huh? We all did. Meryl totally ripped us off. Not a good guy. That's what happens when you mess with drug traffickers. You think I had a fucking choice? That's the only job I could get. Why didn't you try to get help? Go to the police. <sighs> oh, yeah. The police would help me. After they shot my dad and accused us of murder. Great plan. So Finn wanted to get revenge on Meryl, too. Your friend is learning the hard way. Don't lecture me, okay? I did exactly what I had to do to take care of my family. After what you had to go through, 
I get it. But that doesn't change the situation or let you off the hook. Thank you for your statement, Sean. It's really helping. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Even after everything, I can't help but miss Finn. A lot. At least Cassidy wasn't at Merrill's when it... blew up. Wonder what Merrill told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Lotus? Yes. Hi. You have me call. Everything okay? Well, if she said enough, then enough. You know the rules, Sean. No, honey. I told you I was gonna be away for a while. I'm sorry, okay? You gotta be good. Okay. Bonella, will you down the phone, please? Yeah. I love you. Hola, mamá. Sí. Este... No sé. Todavía estoy en el hospital y... Sí. Sí. Mañana por la noche. Mi vuelo sale a las nueve. No. Le he dicho que no. Está todo el día con la Playboy. Pero no quiero que se venga, por favor. Sí, bueno, déjale. Dale. Sí, mañana nos vemos. Un beso. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you gonna find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks, Joey. Wanna tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but 
I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch... Oh, shit. Ah, emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Catch you later. Joey, you are her boss. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. What? Wow. I haven't seen you in a long time. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait. What's that? Super Wolf. Huh? Does that mean... It means that Daniel... Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? He's safe? I could see him again. Huh. All I got at Haven Point, Nevada. Gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape. 
tonight. Okay. Time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. Ah, need a superhero to open that shit. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. I could climb down the side of the building. Or die trying. <sighs> Can't open that window with my bare hands. This one isn't screwed in. <sighs> Let's do it. <clears throat> hey, what the hell are you doing in there? <sighs> nice job, Sean. <sighs> now the guard is awake and pissed off. Can I have some privacy, please? This is crazy, dude. Don't freak out. Just get out. Don't think. Just keep going. Holy shit. Oh. Take a breath, dude. Way too close. <sighs> Time to get my shit from the staff room. Sleeping. This is your big chance, dude.
That's Finn. No way. What is he doing here? Finn! Finn! Hey! Over here! Holy fucking shit! No way! Sean, what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to bail. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I wish I knew you were here. Could've hooked up! Shit. So, where's Daniel? Just learned that he's in Nevada. What the fuck? Why Nevada? I'm on my way to find out, man. Yes, you will, my friend. Damn, I wish I could help you. But I won't get too far. But hey, I brought this on myself. So... Are the police on your ass or what? Shit, yes. <laughs> Pigs want me to narc on everybody, like they fucking believe me. So, how bad is it? You're, I, let's say, I still got one left. John, I know this doesn't mean shit to you now, but I am sorry. <sighs> About everything. I don't blame you, Finn. You tried something. Even if it ended up being a mistake. I'll just... have to make things right for good now. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> You're a fucking gem, man. I love you so much. You know, that night, it meant a lot to me. I'm really gonna miss you. <laughs> me too, Finn, and... Who knows? Maybe we'll see each other again. You're gonna find him, sweetie. I trust you. So you should trust yourself, too.
guess this is my room for the night. Shit. I will never hold until Haven Point. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Careful. Ah, man. I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just... zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got Ford Hot Wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. Hey, I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre y hijo against the road. <laughs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> uh... Well... Not much to talk about. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. I... Actually kissed a boy. It wasn't planned or anything, just... <sighs> yeah. This happened. Uh... Okay. Wow. This is... I mean, I'm fine with that. But as long as you're happy, I'm down with it. It's just... It's a bit unexpected. You know? Ah... Could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? 
Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah, he's an angel. We went to the swimming pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie <laughs> night. Yes! It's so cool! Hey, Sean, don't crash the car! He's driving <sighs> real slow and safe, like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean, Jen wants you to call her. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Does she know about the, uh, boy? Jeez, no. We don't talk much. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? It's too big, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh. By the way, Sean. Oh. Hey, wake up! Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Okay, okay. I'm coming. Hold on. Good. Now we can see you. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I... drove for so long, I... I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign? Didn't you see it? I... was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I... got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Move it. <sighs> Please. I just want to go. Ho-ho. <laughs> What's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh, yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Well... I lost my keys, and... My friend helped me start it. You mean you hotwired it? Holy cow, fucking car thief, too. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it! Let's see what he's holding. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother! Leave it alone! Oh, your brother? Where is he now? Well, I'm going to meet him! In a stolen car? More lies. <sighs> okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Hey, let him go. He's got nothing. Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas español. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say I'm a dirty thief? Soy un sucio ladrón. Soy un sucio ladrón. Nice. Sounds better when you say it. <laughs> this is fun. Now say, uh, I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> Soy un sucio ladrón tuerto. I can't say that shit, but it sounds good, Professor Bean. 
All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Este no es mi país. Most excelente. Not bad for a car thief and a piece of shit. Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. Pick up all your trash and get the fuck off my land. And don't you come round here again. Ever. I won't. I'm leaving now. Move it, Chad. So the... the Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. <sighs> shit, I need a break. Might be some shit. Stop! I can't run for miles in this heat. <sighs> yes. Shade. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. Feels like hiking in hell. Shit. My throat feels like sand.
Never drew a desert before. Huh. It's so empty and quiet. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. This place is so empty. Huh. <laughs> At least I won't mess up perspective for once. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Guess I could spice things up a bit. <laughs> Make the whole thing funnier. I could try adding details. Focus a bit more. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Man. My eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Yeah, you can't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. Too fucking hot. Feels like my brain is melting. Hello, fellow traveler. Daniel might dig this. Don't worry about your feet. Just pace yourself. Shit. This place is freaking me out. Shit, there's a truck coming. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's stopping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. Truckers can't be cops, right? Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. Yeah, thanks. Hold up.
you look like shit. Your eye okay? Yeah. Just a scratch. Good. Well, I hope it's not contagious or something. Hey, Anton. You there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> Too much information, but... 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up. If I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. <sighs> I am. Thank you. As you heard, my name's Anton. Mm. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. <laughs> Messy. Best sandwich ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. What's your destination? Hmm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. Take a nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Just a boring trucker. Last stop, Haven Point. Thank you so much. You just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. 10-4, good buddy. Wow. Forgot about Easter. I completely lost track of time. Let it all out. <coughs> you okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. <laughs> Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Why, hello there, young sir. Can I help you? Uh, I think so. Yeah, uh... You here for the service? Uh, y yeah. I, I am. But it's my first time. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. 
no matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay, um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Sure, uh, of course. Of course. So many new faces are coming to see him these days. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Praise the Lord. That poor little girl. Her cough sounds real bad. <sighs> yeah. Very humble. That poor little girl. Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. Nice picture. Wonder if she's in charge of this community. Wonder if they'll let me in. So I'm not the only one. A Wait. No way. The angel Daniel? Oh, shit. by greed and technology. Faith. We hear that word a lot. But faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh, no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Amen. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Oh, yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then, he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. An angel, a child graced with the power of God. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Here is Daniel, oh, praise be the Daniel. prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, praise to guide us from the wilderness oh, to our God. destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. Oh! 
the cross. Bless you, Dan. Rise. Get up. Stand. Oh, God. Thank you, Dan. A messenger. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Oh, yes. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. As our reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <laughs> yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where our reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. Hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Aw, you must be Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? Who is this Reverend? You don't know her? That's our mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <coughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. What is this place? This is our home. <coughs> our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we are all chosen by God. What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle. And the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Daniel. You're the living proof of their faith, and mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my... Sean! 
You came back! I knew it! You've grown up, Inano. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of... me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Forget it. It wasn't your fault. I should have... It's okay. Does it... hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. It's different. I kinda like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look! One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all... so... Overwhelming. By the way, my name is Lisbeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Mm, kinda. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean. It's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. I'm leaving here with Daniel. Yes, yes, I know about this reckless journey. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Mark 3, 25. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I've heard about what you did in California. How you pushed your brother into felony. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him? What he wants to do. Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean! What happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy! Let's get out of here, Daniel. <clears throat> I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again, so we can go. Right? Come on. Get off me, dude! What? 
Daniel! <coughs> let me go, asshole! <coughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean! Sean. Daniel! <sighs> there you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders. Like you. I just... want... my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! Daniel. Sean. Karen. You won't get him back like this. Let's go. Sean, what happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. So you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. Man, didn't clean the pain away, but that felt good. Damn, you look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon.
Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's... miracles? So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. I know I shouldn't peek, but... Whatever. Glad to know she learned the lesson. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Be right back. <sighs> we'll find out. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Hey, technology. She came prepared. The Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. I got a few moments to myself, so let's practice. I wonder who lives around here. It's so wild and huge. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. I could see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool after a long ride. <sighs> These mountains really inspire me. <sighs> All right, back to reality, dude. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way! I've been waiting to hear from you for months! So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Damn. 
He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Dad taught me responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did, and why. If you care. So, ask me anything. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I was unhappy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean. It was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend, uh, Jacob, wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. 
New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah, okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel, and Esteban. I know you are, Karen. It still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or Dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried. But I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay, but why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. 
I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Cool plan, Mom. You heard Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel. Someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. I gotta change my dressing. This thing fucking hurts. Sean, I know I can't change the past what I did, but this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Yes. Thanks. So... you feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Here, try this on. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel.
sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Well, he's definitely... special. Hope so. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like, he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and... I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. So, you came back here after you escaped, but with a dazed little boy. And everybody was cool with that? Trust me, it was not an easy thing for me to come back. And... Yeah. They took us in. That's what they do here. They take people in. Except they didn't want to take me in yesterday. I'm telling you... To be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Uh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay, I don't know if you want to do this, but I... I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch, in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh... We have to get my sister, too. Sarah Lee. Really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Elizabeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand. Right? Damn, Jake. We need his help, too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him.
know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay, Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Elizabeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. So, did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Okay. There it is. Looks empty. Let's hope so. Luckily for us, we never close our door. Closed door is a closed heart, she says. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Oh, of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck! Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's... too cautious not to have a spare set around. <sighs> Whoa. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's just so... full of memories and stuff. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. She sure likes to gaze at her own success. What a great fucking family portrait. Okay. I found a key. Good. Let's try it. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Don't see anything of interest. Whoa, they kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Is this Daniel's room? Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Elizabeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. He looks happy. Fuck! I can't believe I missed it. Is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? 
Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, shit. People are really all over his power. So much for secrecy. What is this? Daniel Fisher? Oh, no. No, that's total bullshit. And creepy. No matter what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. Sean. Oh, they're so cute. Sean, is everything all right in there? Uh, yes. We're trying to get into her office. She's locked it up, so it has to be there. Fine. I'll let you know if I see anything unusual. Got it. Yes, that's the one. Oh, perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. has pneumonia and for what I get Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment that's criminal she's insane look she has a file on you too <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock man what's all this were you like Sick? Conversion therapy? Do they... Wanted to cure you from... Being... Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. Is that why you... Ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared. Confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean... What about Finn and I, then? Are we going straight to hell? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I don't really get her, Sean. But Lisbeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd... I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. You didn't know this would happen, Jake. His powers tripped me out, too. Don't worry. We'll get him out. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Keep our money. For your sister. She needs it. Oh, I, I can't do that, Sean. 
that, that, that's a lot of... We're okay. It will cover her medical bills. Wow. Thank you, Sean. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, Trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. No. Uh, it might be too dangerous. Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. But be extra careful, please. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Hurry up. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed. All right, let's see. Okay. I'm starving. Crazy. I really thought he was gonna catch us. The guy's leaving. He doesn't look suspicious or anything. <sighs> yeah. We were lucky. <sighs> the fuck? W what is it? I think that's the file Nicholas had. Take a look. What? Is she trying to adopt Daniel? Exactly. And she's doing it under the table, of course. Man. Okay. We shouldn't be here. Are you ready? Hold on. Maybe we can find more. Okay, but be quick. Is she actually scared of me? Better get Daniel out of here before she gets too much attention. So we're all good now? All clear. I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later.
so you know what you're gonna do? No. But let's do it. Oh, Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble Sean, servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean! You came back? And I know. Little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel. Listen, she's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here. For you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast Him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been His mother once, but when you abandoned Him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this, Daniel. She's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but... I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family, and we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh, oh my shit. Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas, they're, they're heretics sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay. What now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend? 
Sarah Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She won't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. She's not a real Christian. Think about Claire and Stephen. They have faith, but they would never endanger a little girl's life like that. But... She's always right. Why would she lie? Have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me and to you. She's doing paperwork to adopt you and change your last name, and I know. Dad's name. Are you okay with that? What? I... No, I didn't know. Is that why that card said Daniel Fisher? Of course not. He's making everything up. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. What do you think Dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay. But you're not ready, Sean. See what you have done. Hey, Inano. Back off. No one is going to keep me away from you. I said stop! <sighs> I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need- uh, Sean! He must learn. Listen, I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I should have never agreed to do that heist. It was stupid. Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. Don't let them do that, Daniel. <laughs> if I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! we have to keep going no. forward. What are You're you gonna doing? kill him! Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Nothing, nothing is going to stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know it. Uh, please, uh, stop. Uh, Leave him alone. Daniel. Listen to him! I won't stop! No matter what she does! I'll come right back! Again! And again! <laughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. Don't move. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with me. Now! Stop! <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. I was 
so confused. I thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. Oh no. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. Move. Let us go. Move it. You won't leave this place. Not with me alive. I said move! Or I will hurt you. Sean, foolish child. You can't threaten me with death. I embrace it. I know what awaits me. Open the door in then. Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore! Ugh.
Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too.
Diaz brothers. Always. So... Are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes... I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen. We're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? Sort of. We did a lot of... Illegal shit. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah, I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination lied... A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too, right? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh... They... They arrive in Mexico. But the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them. And become heroes. The police forgives them. And all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's back this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop! Daniel! Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez! You're no fun. Activate flashlight. And no funny business. Of course not. On the way. Every star looked the same, until we used Karen's old guidebook. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. 
Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. Ta-da. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, man. I do look like a mighty superhero. That's so cool. hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Yo, Captain Cam, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Let's go. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hey. We saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah. These guys are real cool. Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well... Oh. Uh... Good question. Uh... Where were we? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not... Hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Maybe she just doesn't care. You think? Karen is kind of like that. Like a hippie. She just goes with the flow, man. It's all good. She's weird like us. I hear you. <laughs> My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. <laughs> <laughs> it 
You know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in a while. Ooh, look, look. Oh, man, I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. <sighs> I know. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. So, maybe he can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. see what Joanne is doing. Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Looks like they all finally found their home. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. She's really good at rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. I miss his ass too. If he wasn't such a fuck-up, he could take over the world. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Glad I don't need it as much. Huh. 
I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Not a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I can't start drawing if I don't look at the subject first. Now I can see why Karen likes it out here. It just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. <laughs> Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. I still don't know how I feel. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. I don't know. It kind of helps us both get a better grip. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. <sighs> Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money. And as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, 
You will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Okay, Daniel. Can you... slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch the... Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Hey, can you... Turn that earth ball around a little bit. Watch this. Now, let's throw on that spider. You got it. Just like half a turn. Sweet. Hmm. Now let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Check it out. Okay, how about turning that pancake head? See, Sean. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it, too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. 
Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. That sounds cool, but we gotta be leaving soon. We still have a ways to go. Technically, you're already in a way. I get it, you still have to find your home. We were lucky, and old enough, to find ours here. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years, until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel will find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. Thanks for the desert brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. Oh, really? Was it weird that I kissed Finn at the farm? Dude! N no way. Dude, I wouldn't lie to you about it. Nah, it's super cool. I just wish you would've told me you were in there. You don't have to know everything. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> super Wolf to the Silver Runner. Copy, I hid something super cool your for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? 10 4. Okay, you're on a nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So, for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's... that's it. That's... I love you, Stanley, two. but your coffee your makes me want to run away from away. Brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking Mom's trailer. What do you think about giving the home It's outside! Your wars! Wait, 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 This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. You're here. Oh, it's burned. It's close, Sean. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. 
Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember Not that one. Too far. My ex was a fan Getting of the show, Hmm. You're in the middle zone. Getting closer. You're warm. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Oh hoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah! I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. for it. Gotta empty that truck. <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> The deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom! How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> 
but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. <laughs> yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Um, does that kind of scare you? Me? Goddamn right it does. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you were married. Uh, used to be. She died a few years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's life. But at least I got an angry stepdaughter in the deal. <laughs> we were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, we can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. <sighs> That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. 
Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Mac, I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big and pretty. And so quiet, except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. The wolf brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. <sighs> I love to come here to get away from... Away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. So, 
now that you know us better, do you kind of regret leaving and everything? I made a decision to never have regrets. Although, you two would be the best reason. Just know I love both of you so much, and I'm proud of who you are, and where you're going. Karen, be honest. Do you think we'll make it to Mexico? <laughs> you made it this far. Going through hell. I hope so, Sean. You both deserve it. But... I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This couldn't last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that back, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh! I love those things! Let's light up the sky. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. 
so that's we have to leave again. I think I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe a five or six hours drive. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom. They'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. You took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. Nobody could ask for a better brother. Or son. Okay. This is the last roundup. Wait. Let me say bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. It took me some time, but... I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. Please don't give up on your freedom, okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love. Sean. Okay, dude. Don't forget about David. Let's check you out one last time. I don't know. Come on. Hey. What's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. <laughs> Good, that makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, 
You and Daniel. You did inspire me. I love it. So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself. And my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. Thank you so much, Joanne. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Thanks. But the sooner we cross the border, the better. No worries. No worries? Bullshit. That's all we're gonna do until you make it. We will. Thanks to you. And everyone here. You gave us a place to breathe. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just take goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. <sighs> Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Damn. Can't wrap my head around those two leaving. That's just unfair. Daniel just Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. It wasn't forever, honey. They have their own way to go. <laughs> Sean. Hey. Aaron said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. That must have been the best meal ever to frame it on the wall. Hmm. <laughs> They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Must be his wife. 
time's taken a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. Okay, how does this thing work? Uh, okay. We gotta search between 140 and 160. Is it? Down by, uh, Sam's? <sighs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane. Now, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away, never to look back, while I was trying to rebuild. Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on, like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them, and we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way, and I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean. I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you. 
Okay? Yeah. Of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in ten years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free. Sooner than later. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? No shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. Yeah, I know. How about that other gallery she told me about? After the desert roads. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. <sighs> Listen. Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Wish he was here with us. It's bullshit that we get to see Puerto Lobos, but he doesn't. I know. But Esteban is still with you. And he always wanted you and Daniel to see where he came from. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over. If we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals. And you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. Daniel, do you copy? 
time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to Away? Yeah. Kinda sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inanu. Come here. Mom... I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both. And what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. <sighs> Let's hit the road. Hey, is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So, what's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Forever. We can live like kings, dude. The dollar goes a long way there. We don't need much. Yeah, right. So who am I gonna play with? What do I do for fun? No worries. We don't have much, but... We'll figure it out. Dude! I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel, I get scared too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you.
Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. All units be advised. After the raid on away, there was no sign of Sean and Dave. Hey. Sean? Why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trash, or what? I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us, right? I know. It's going to be super easy with my power. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. Super Wolf? Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. <laughs> we did it! Oh. Oh. We fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be alright now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh man! Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean! That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some Choco Crisp. It'll be Daniel! 
Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Oh. Oh. Oh, no! No way! Not now! Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, oh. Oh. oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! We're going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! Now it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Listen, it's a long story. We really are trying to get out of here. You can fucking skateboard across the border ten miles away. So tell me the plan. You're not cops. You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them. And they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on! We have to deal with this kid. No, Still bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. Yeah, don't move. What? What the fuck? Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <sighs> fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! Fuck's sake! What I say? Uh, okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? I, I, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Don't look at me. Estás bien? Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, 
Soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Seriously. Why are you doing this? What's your problem? Doing what? You shot my 10-year-old brother. It was a mistake. It's just a graze. The fall is what knocked him out. Oh, you don't have to talk to him, Dad. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intento cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad... Um, queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Son muy valientes. Y además estás embarazada. <ríe> Mi Carlita es la mujer más valiente del mundo. <ríe> Y la más inteligente también. En nuestro pueblo era profesora. Queremos que el niño nazca en este país. Que tenga la nacionalidad. Queremos darle una vida... Una vida mejor a nuestro hijo. O hija. Los Estados Unidos... No es el paraíso que esperan. En serio. Mucha gente viene aquí pensando que van a vivir el American Dream, pero muchos no lo logran. Sin embargo, tenemos que probar. Nosotros también merecemos un poco de esperanza. No quiero desanimarte, amigo, pero lo de México no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero... Allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? No sé, creo que soy un poco pesimista en el camino. No solo me encontré con gente amable. Me imagino. Cuando eres extranjero. Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work. Not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Immigrants built this country. Where did the... Founding fathers come from, huh? No, no, no. That was different. They made the laws. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. 
I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. Now you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale nada. Whether you people lack it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay. Let's move it. All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Fuck. What did they do with Daniel? I hope he's all right. Of course not. Don't you know how dangerous it is out here? How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? Why do you care? Because Adam... Oh, shit. Is it morning already? <laughs> Haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. We have to move <sighs> Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. Well, good job then. You went to jail instead. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. Oh. Oh. What? You don't get to talk to me like that, Mamacita. You understand? Oh, I can't believe it. Why am I in here? So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so Shit. much better. At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. Oh. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Vandalizing a motel room. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. 
Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm. Oh. Which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But... Denying what you did will only make things worse. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. I can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen. Once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! Uh, what is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. You okay? How do you feel? I I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Come on. Bullshit. You gotta go. Get us out of here! Let's get enough. Let's Sean, who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who try to shoot you. What? They got locked up? Good. Oh, go to hell. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. It's been me aquí until I check this out. Oh, of course. Holy mother! How'd you do that? Daniel, can you open our cell? What if they... attack us? They won't. Trust me. Alright. Step back. What are you doing? You're welcome. Why? What did you do that for? 
Because we're not assholes. Thank you. Yeah, don't make us regret this. You think I killed him? No, no, he's okay. Stay here. He'll just wake up with a nasty Until headache. Until things settle down. Okay, hey, hands up. Shit. Don't, hey. don't shoot. Hands up. Do not horses. move. Wait, Sean. We're not Stay good. back, for Daniel. Okay. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. They're gonna get us. We will shoot if we need to. Understand? Don't do anything Come stupid, on. kid! Let's get out before the fucking backup. Put him in there. Now! Okay. You're the man. Now let's move. Sean, I think our fans are in there. Step back. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate that he has to use this for all this shit. There's probably more of them coming. Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go! Let's roll, Daniel. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean. It's the 4th of July. Our... first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country.
You know that day? In Seattle? The day Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Anano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, Promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. Be happy in Mexico. 